Hotep, I am the Amen Osiris, the one and only undisputed God of law. We are Deception Stoppers, America's only 4D education service. I am not a lawyer. This is not a law firm. We don't advocate that you don't support your human offspring. We simply advocate that you made them in private and take care of them in private. And just so you are aware, I am the 4D destroyer. And today, I got Brother King and God, Gary uh, Lynn Scott Jr., uh, excuse me, Gary, Gary Lynn Jr. of the family Scott. And we're going to have a very meaningful discussion today about what is going on out here in YouTube. Hotep, Gary, how are you, man? I'm doing pretty good, Amen Osiris. How's it going, bro? Man, look, I'm alive and well, brother. You know how we do. <laughs> so let me get this volume up here. And uh, so, Scott, you know, we, we've spoken and uh, we've been working together for a minute. And you have a case coming up in federal court, do you not? Yes, I do. Uh, coming up in June uh, is the trial date. Been in litigation since November 13th of 2018. Okay. And um, uh, let's, uh, you know, if you don't mind, uh, you know, share with the brethren out here. And the reason uh, everybody, we're I'm having this discussion with Gary Scott is because there are federal agents out here trying to discourage you from fighting against your rights. Gary, would you agree or disagree with that? Yes, I agree with it wholeheartedly. Okay. All right, and, 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 and the furthermore, these federal agents won't even show their face on YouTube. Gary, you got a problem with that? Yes, I got a problem with it. Uh, for one, man, is that there's plenty of people trying to fight this 4D monster that we're fighting. And it's, it's pretty evident that when you have people out here that won't show their face, but want to discredit your efforts in fighting something that's, that's sorely wrong against the people. It's wrong against fathers, wrong against mothers. Uh, and for somebody who uh, uh, portrays themselves as being a fellow uh, comrade in the fight, but will go to lengths to discredit your strong efforts in the, uh, uh, destroying this basically for everyone, uh, it, 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 it leaves a, a great deal of suspicion for that person. So, you know, man, I mean, I'm a, I've been out here fighting this and, and, and responding to these, these crooks for the last almost 18 months. And so, guys, I'll just tell you out here, man, keep fighting. Uh, uh, don't believe the hype, especially somebody that won't show their face. Uh, yes. don't, pay your money to, don't pay your money to people that won't show their face. Because if they stiff you, then you don't even know who to look for. So. Okay. And appreciate that, Gary. So, Gary, let me ask you a question. The, the person that's trying to discredit what you're doing, have you spoken to that person or uh, corresponded with email or through any messaging? No, no, not personally. No, no email messaging or net, nothing like that. Uh, it was only via Facebook, uh, uh, you know, child support uh, uh, opposition groups, uh, in particular, the, uh, uh, the, the, well, the name of the group was uh, Exposing the Child Support Scheme, okay. uh, which I'm an admin. I'm an admin in that group, and this guy, uh, he Yaz Magnified, I think his name is, uh, comes on, and he discredited my case. I just put out there that, hey, I, I have a current case, an active case going on, and my trial date is approaching. Uh, uh, basically, I've been closer than anybody's ever been that I know of uh, in fighting this, and so um, I'm, I'm $9,000 overpaid in child support i was twenty thousand dollars overpaid in child support and these people still taking my money there's there's plenty of of uh violations and 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 room for uh uh to, to find out how crooked these people are and i just put my case out there and to let everybody know that there's somebody championing the efforts to fight these people and he just went attacking me um telling me that i'm gonna lose and i'm gonna I'm gonna get dismissed and he went on to say that i had a legal obligation to take care of my kids which i don't understand this legal stuff but you know because he he's when he said legal that means he's he's on the side of the people that were fighting and so i mean because if these if these laws didn't exist you know then i would still take care of my kids regardless i don't care if my family was in the middle of a field and we didn't have any government authority over us i will kill and hunt to feed my kids so right. when he says legal when he says legal, that lets me know that he's on the side of the government, the people that are exercising this, this crooked system against us. So I just tell people to pay attention. 
Okay, and, and Gary, um, uh, can you see my screen? Can I see your screen? Yeah. No, I'm 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 directly on a phone call. Oh, okay. All right. I don't see any... That no worries. Just so everybody is uh, concerned, that those of you who can't see my screen, legal means created by law. So, uh, uh, G Man, let me ask you a question. Um, if you don't mind, explain to the brethren how exactly you got caught up in this as far as the uh the, the acknowledgement of attorney which we talked about at one time oh yes 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 i'd be glad to uh well i was married um i was married for 13 years inside of that marriage i had three beautiful children um uh, they're they're one of them's grown now but the other two are 13 the twins um well me and my ex-wife we divorced and you know, like everybody else, you think that, you know, you got to pay this child support stuff and you're against it, but you don't know how to, how to defend yourself against it. You don't know how to get out of it. So anyway, as I later learned through a modification um, that I, I wasn't informed of this stuff before I signed the contract. I didn't know that this stuff was contractual. So I, I, I found out about it. And uh, when I studied your videos, I looked at your videos. Cause I knew something was going on when during that modification when I was found to be twenty thousand dollars overpaid in child support. Wow. Cause I paid double. I was I, I paid double what the court order said. All right, and to keep to keep them off of my credit report. And so when it when she filed for modification, it illuminated all that. It brought all that to the forefront. My overpayment and everything. And so I I hired a lawyer. This is where this is where I found out that you can't hire lawyers in this stuff. I hired a lawyer. Yeah, I, don't, I thought I, mean, I had an open. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but how did you find out about the the fault, the fallacies of of of, of hiring a lawyer? Oh yes, I'm getting ready to tell you. Um, when I hired that lawyer, he was a black guy. You know, you think you know I'm black. He's black. You think you have some sort of camaraderie there. But, you know? <laughs> and so I'm just letting you know, man. It, it's nothing about race. It's all about money. And so. This guy, he he looked at my pay record and he fell back in his chair like, and, and I didn't catch this when he said it. He said, "What you're doing, Gary, is what we're trying to get everybody to do." And I, you know, and I thought, I, you know, I thought I felt kind of good, you know, because this lawyer's bragging on me. Little did I know, he he's he, he just saying he's trying to enslave others just like I'm doing, like they're doing me, you know. And wow. So, uh, we went on forward with the case. I paid him fifteen hundred dollars and everything. And uh, I'm thinking I have an open and shut case that this they they don't have nothing against me. I'm overpaid. What can they do? Man, I went up in that courtroom. He he barred me from seeing a judge, and he made a he made an agreement with the state attorney. Put me in this jury room where nobody else could see the case, and it was me, my children's mother, him, and the state attorney. All right. And when I had all this evidence about her making money on the table, he did not bring one shred of evidence out while they were trying to swindle me into that, that modification. And I said, hold up, dude. She's typing up the order. What are you talking about? You, you know, you didn't say you didn't bring up none of my evidence. He said, well, oh, oh, sorry about that. He brought it out and handed it to the state attorney. I'm thinking this is like a judge thing. And I didn't realize what just happened until I left out. Right. And so he, I, when I left out of the, that jury room, I was paying $118 more than what I was already paying, which was $800 before. And wow. I'm like, how am I paying more? And I'm already overpaid. This is what made me start studying and, 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 and investigating. This is when I, I was turned on to your videos, Amon Osiris. And so when I started looking at your videos, I started gaining confidence of what, what was going on. Then I met a friend of mine, and I turned him on to your videos. And he he was already legally inclined, and and it and it went on from there. He hired he he uh, uh hired you for your services, and I was right behind him. All right, so we both have our cases in federal court, which my friend he has a strong case than I do, in my opinion. But uh, because he never signed a acknowledgement of paternity, so when I started digging in. And I found out that this is all contractual, that they swindled me and to get my money by me signing that acknowledgement of paternity, they did not let me know the legal consequences before signing it. Because had, had they told me in 42 U.S.C. 666 
uh, the simple civil process where you should, you are uh, the child support agency is supposed to let you know of the legal consequences of signing an officer of attorney, I never would have signed it. Mm -hmm. and so yeah, that's where that's where I'm at today. Yes. Who who would sign something? As a matter of fact, uh, let me see if I can find it here. And uh, I know I sent it to you earlier. Um, give me one second. Because uh, I can't see. Oh, I'm, oh, sorry about the noise, fellas. <laughs> anyway, what you have is, let's go here. Um, again, for the, I know Gary, you can't see my screen, but for those of you who can, uh, this is the Federal Manual of Child Support Enforcement, page 35. And it tells you how they collect child support, collecting child support. And number one, it says the most, and I just, just, did, I just did this video the other day, it says the most important collection method is wage withholding. And right here after that, it says other techniques for enforcing payments include um, regular billing delinquencies, all this right here, I'm not going to go through and read it. But, but Gary, let me ask you a question. Did anybody inform you of these legal consequences before you got married? No. You acknowledgement? No, not at all. I didn't see any video. I didn't see any audio. I didn't see anything in writing telling me of the legal uh, consequences. Excuse me. And had I had I had they shown me that, then I would have never signed it. Okay. And if you would have never signed it, what would, would, would be the outcome now? Oh, the outcome now is that they've they've extorted money from me uh, uh, against my will. Uh, basically, almost ruined my life, for actually preventing me from actually caring for my kids and building things for them and ha having things for them that I that I'm from being prevented from from doing because of their intrusion in, into my my space, into my life. I got to your private personal life. So, in other words, right. you stay in private, you got the right to take care of my private. Would you agree? That is that is exactly right. And according to what you have, uh, we have spoken about uh, the 4D crime family. You had a half an hour discussion with them, according to this case. And if you don't mind sharing, uh, if you whatever you can recollect, what were they telling you during this half an hour discussion? Well, they were they were basically we're we're talking uh, just talking about uh, the scheduling conference and stuff like that um, in that half an hour. Uh, Phone, a conference call that we had, um, and I basically told them, I asked them, what do they want from me? People are are, are intruding into my life. They've not did anything with you guys. I don't owe you anything. How am I in, in how am I indebted to you over my own children, which I've never been found guilty of not taking care of? And they just they don't they don't have anything to say. They just no proceed on with their their you know, mumbo, mumbo jumbo and you know, and, and they, they know they're wrong, man. They know they're wrong. And they, they try to respond by saying, well, he just doesn't want to pay child support. I say, yeah, I don't want to pay you. I'm going to support my children. It has, it has nothing to do with me supporting my children. It's just, in other words, they're saying hey, you don't want to pay us. To right, right. It has nothing to do with me supporting my children. This has everything with, with them uh, violating my due process rights. Okay. My constitutional right to due process. And, and let me ask you a question. When you were on this uh, Facebook page and this federal agent attacked you and told you he was going to lose, how do you feel about that? Well, I mean, at, at, the, uh, at, at the forefront, I'm like, why this guy, we're in a, a group that's called Exposing the Child Support Scheme. All of us are fighting for the same result. We're fighting uh, uh, these people who are violating our constitutional rights. Here comes a person who wants to discredit a method when his own method has not been proven to be successful. Now, right? even though everybody's fighting, everybody's on the same. No, you're good. But my question was, even though this person be posting these alleged testimonies of everybody. And, and according to what this person is saying, that everybody who uses his services is winning. Um, and Gary, uh, we had a discussion 
And I've, I've expressed to you wholeheartedly that sometimes people win and sometimes people lose. Did we not have that discussion? That's correct. Okay, and you were you were fully, yes, we had that discussion. Okay, and you were fully in, in uh, you know in, in understanding that yes, okay, you know you're going up against big booty and it might not work out in your favor. But when my question is to you is you know why why do you think someone would discourage you? I uh, from trying to fight the 4D crime family. I mean, you know, you 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 comprehend what I'm saying? Why why do you think that somebody would just yeah, comprehend on public media and saying that you can't win, you're going to lose? What? Well, give us your interpretation on that. Either they have a personal uh, 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 a personal grudge against against the people that that I use against your services. Either they have a personal grudge with themselves. Or when they, uh, you know, they, they just don't use the same uh, level of, of tactics. I, I, like me and you discussed, when you're fighting this case, I don't expect you to do everything for me, because had I had to had I had to pay a lawyer, a crooked lawyer for this, I'd be out of twenty grand easy, you know. So the thing is, I I listen to your videos, I listen to what you teach, and I responded to these defendants based on what you teach on your videos and it works okay and, and the thing is I, I think you have to respond to everything they put out you can't leave no a stone unturned you cannot do that and when you fight them and i let the court know that this 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 case is very important to me i let them know everything is going on with me i let them know that i have a family that i take care of my kids i coach my daughter's volleyball team and and they're they're making a living uh, uh, uh in this case is i don't make a living doing this they're taking every document that i have to draft it's come out of my personal time with my children okay mm. so I, I let the court know that and the court sympathizes they give me the time to respond and i responded to their motions effectively listening to your videos and one thing they one thing i key on is that they did not disclose the legal consequences of signing an acknowledgement of paternity which we are not required to sign okay they, 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 this is what people need to understand we are not required to sign that okay had they had they let the yeah, let us know say, say, one, more, say one more time we are not required to sign an acknowledgement of paternity and gary uh, everybody in favor expound on why if you don't mind because uh, i know you know because you're a 4D destroyer, explain to the brethren out here why you are not required to decide to 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 sign that document as far as full disclosure. Because because <laughs> it's your freedom not to. Am I? You know, you don't have to contract with these people. What, what, I'm gonna just tell you what I what I've come up with. Had I known then what I know now, I would have had my own notary up there in the delivery room with my document in hand and i would have made my own birth certificate apart from the county mm. that's what i would have done yes. and then now and then i would have did the same thing in my marriage that's what alabama stopped selling marriage licenses now they're doing it the right way where every couple has to turn in their own affidavit their own contract apart from the state apart from the county that's where it should that's the way it should be right now alabama as, as much as people talk about Alabama, Alabama and their illiteracy, I do applaud them on taking a stand. You know, so you know that's the way it should be done, guys. If you if you're gonna, uh, you don't have to contract with these people. You don't have to uh, uh, get into their mess and their 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 business. You can create your own, make your own affidavit right there in the delivery room. Have your notary right there. Wow. And she can sign. That's your own birth certificate. You don't have to have theirs. And that, once it gets notarized, that becomes a legal document. Uh, yeah, that's a legal binding contract, but it's, it's, it's your contract. It doesn't involve the state, doesn't involve the county. And if anything happens, you should go to court straight up, just like it should be. If a person is not supporting their child, you take them to court straight up and have the jury decide whether the person is supporting their child or not. And you just don't get to rape my pockets just because of your 4D program. So Gary, uh, I, I got a personal question for you. 
Would, sure. you, would you consider yourself a 4D destroyer? Oh, hell yeah. Hell and, yeah, man. And is it fair to say that there are federal agents out there who are trying to discourage you from being a 4D destroyer from the conversation that you've had with them? Yes. Yes, they're trying to discourage me, man, because they have a vested interest in me losing. They have a vested interest in uh, me using your services and losing. They, the, the, you know, I, I don't get it, man. What you're teaching is right, whether I lose or whether I win. What you're teaching the public is right. It's irrefutable. You, when, you, when you say, don't take my word for it, look it up yourself. And when you look it up yourself, it's ir irrefutable that the facts are there. They did not let people know of the acknowledgement of paternity, nothing. Nobody would sign a marriage license. Nobody would sign a birth certificate. Nobody would agree to a DNA test had they known the legal consequences of signing the knowledge of paternity. Because that, that right there is, uh, those are the three forms of voluntary knowledge of paternity. The marriage certificate, the uh, birth certificate, or the DNA test. Either one of those three are the ones they use to, to get into your life. And, and Gary, let, let me ask you a question. How? When when this person uh, went against you and told you you were going to lose and you were wrong and everything else, how did you feel about what was said to you by this person? I felt very violated. I felt I felt like he was trying to not he not discredit me, but he makes the video as to discredit anyone that may want to try the same method that I've tried or try your services. He, uh, I didn't really feel about it because I know he's a dumbass. I really don't feel <laughs> he's he's a he's a dumbass. And anybody that listens to him is 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 you know and takes heed to what he does. Uh, you hey you you know you suffer the consequences. Uh, the reason this thing is is a is 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 a uh, the reason I went to federal court is because I believe federal court is more effective when you when you going when you say let's go to state court you got to understand that the state is profiting from this bull crap they're profiting so why would the state go against itself you know true i mean yeah why would the state go against itself in a case like this you got to get it on an even playing field which is in federal court because your constitutional rights are being violated and when you uh, the, what 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 the state will try to do, or the county that I'm suing, what they will try to do is try to swindle you into an argument about child support. And once it goes there, the case is going to get thrown out because this is not about child support. It's about your constitutional right to due process, and you have to keep it there. There you go. Okay. And so, for the record, and since we're on video, I'm not going to have this notarized or anything. What would you advise people who have a 4D issue? Uh, what would you, um, uh, well, we're gonna, I'm going to get back to that question. You have a court date on January 8th for a scheduling conference? Uh, June the 8th for a scheduling June, conference. June, uh, June, okay. 20, and June the 23rd is the. Uh, okay. And in that scheduling conference, there's going to be a settlement conference. Would you agree or disagree? I agree with that. Yep. Okay. And more importantly, the 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 the, the state, well, excuse me, the, the the 4D corporation that's operating in the state, they're going to opt to settle out with you uh, through a bench trial, whether jury or, or not. And we'll get back to that. Uh, and are you comfortable with that? Yes, I'm I'm comfortable with with that because long as the facts are presented before the judge or jury, I think. We have a little more leverage when there's a jury because we can expose certain things. When you invite the, the, a jury in, you're inviting the public in to see what's actually going on. And right. when the public hears their social security dollars are being raped to, to go after people in this bogus illegal child support scheme, then that's going to that, that's gonna resonate with them. Okay? They're, you know, but since I have a bench trial, um, what I, my task is to come before this judge this magistrate or whatever and present the facts the fact is hamilton county did not inform me of the legal consequences of signing an announcement of paternity whether it be a marriage certificate or birth certificate okay they did uh, not 
And uh, wait, we're not to cut you off. But when you when you you said you were married, so when you uh, yes. applied for that marriage certificate, did the clerk of the court inform you uh, uh, confirm the legal consequences of of you know applying for that marriage certificate? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. So who, who would you say at fault here? Oh, the county. Wholeheartedly, man. I went up there one time, and I, I've been I've been attacking, get, trying to get paperwork out of out of this. And uh, so I went to the clerk, and I asked for my marriage license. I said mm-hmm. I want the signed marriage license, and they gave me a marriage certificate and put this gold sticker on it to try to make me feel like I'm getting some kind of, you know, a profound document or whatever. But no, I said this is not the license. I need the license that I signed to get this ticket. They told me, well, that's in Nashville. We, we don't give those out. Okay. And do you feel as though if you had the license certificate, uh, would you be able to prove uh, the- Oh, yeah. The, um, uh, what do you call it, due process, uh, the deprivation of due process? Yes, I'll be able to pr- prove it without a shadow of a doubt. I can prove it with the birth certificate. All right, so let me ask you, know, you a question. With uh, you've seen the you've seen the bullshit video that uh, an unnamed individual has made. Um, did you file a complaint against that? Uh, yes, I reported it. Um, uh, I reported it uh, to YouTube and and said a violation of my privacy. And him, he, I mean, he put it out in, in bold red letters. Will Gary Scott? win his case with Gary Scott, you know, like he's really trying to drive it home. I mean, why would you want me to lose, man? Why would you want me to lose? If you're fighting this like we're fighting this, to me, I'm the closest one to come to a, a trial like this to get this ratified for everyone. And you're, t- you, you're trying to discredit? It's like, if I lose, you want to laugh? But you're, you're, you're uh, you know, portraying yourself in front of everyone as being a teammate in the fight? Being a comrade, being a fellow soldier, but yet you're going to discredit someone that's on the verge of, of losing. And, and what does that make you sound like, man? You, yeah. How do you feel about this statement? I feel like he's a crook, he's a fraud, and he's working for the government because he won't show his face. That's what I feel. Um, and and so I know uh, the person who we're talking about. We know you're going to, you know, try to. Uh, uh, debunk this video. Um, Gary, what is the main question? Why haven't you shown your face? Yeah, that's the A. <laughs> Gary, why has why hasn't he shown his face? Videos together, we know what he, you know. You know what we look like. I know what you look yeah. like. You know what I look like. Oh yeah, yeah, has man. Ever been every problem? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why do you think no, I, this I, person I, doesn't want to show their face? Because he's 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 trying to stay anonymous or stay behind closed doors, uh, because he's a fraud. Okay. I think anybody do, who's going to sell think, something, man. Do you think do you think that a fraud is 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 going to help you? Uh, uh, let's pose Not this question, uh, Gary. Let's close this question. Um, uh, at twelve hundred dollars a pop. Um, you, uh, this person who is uh, uh, posting all these testimonies, um, let's pose this question, uh, this que- uh, the question to the per- uh, person quotes, quoting these te- uh, testimonies. Does every case that you call yourself administering over and helping win? What do you think, Gary? And no, not at all. I don't think he's won anything, you know. Uh, because I just don't see how the, the only way you can effectively fight child support and win is if you fight it at the beginning of when it when they're trying to do it to you. That's the only way I've seen you can see you can win in a state in a state situation. Um, okay. but if you've already been violated and they're already taking it from you, I don't see them stopping it until you take them to federal court and get it on an even playing field. What what this guy is doing, he's He's fooling people. There's, I've seen people comment on his uh, page where they've said, hey, uh, I've called you and I've sent you money, but you never got back with me. 
he's got these comments on his own videos, but yet he's going to attack other people for the same stuff that he's doing. And, and he, the people he's attacking are actually honest people or upstanding people do, who are doing it right and being fair and showing their face. He won't show their face, and these people have sent him money. They don't even know how, who to go after if, if, they, if he takes off, you know? I mean, I will never send my money to somebody who can't hadn't show, show me their face, you know? We hadn't talked, and I see you all the time, man. I see you on videos. <laughs> you know what I look ahead, like? I'm sorry. Yeah, I know exactly what you look like. <laughs> all right. Um, do you think that was fear to show my face? No, not at all, man. No, I don't think it was fear. I think it was you. You're you're just being an upstanding guy, and you and you stand behind what you teach. Stand behind your services. You you stand behind it. So, but he you, he does. When you, when you think about a person who is afraid to show their face and stand behind a twelve hundred dollar uh, price tag. He's a coward. He's a crook. Uh, he he's a fraud. He's a scammer, a schemer. He's working working in the hoops, the hoops with the government, man. He's he's a, he's a teammate of the adversary. And so, and, I, I, you know, <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, I don't know why, it, why, why, why and, and and not uh, from any influence from me, but why would you think that someone who doesn't show their face? Uh, is uh, an adversary and everything that you just explained. Yeah, because he's a he's a deceiver. He's he's deceiving people in them. He's making them think something that he's not. He's making them be believe. He's trying to persuade people to believe something and to uh, 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 adopt something that really isn't true from his standpoint. But he's lying. All right, somebody that won't show their face. Are you kidding me? You know, you're sending your money to this person. You don't even know who he is. And it's the same thing that, that, that American Greed, these American Greed shows about. <laughs> that I, I remember that American Greed. So let me ask you yeah. a question. Um, the same person who is not showing their face, um, who is trying to discredit everybody else, um, do you think that he can confirm that everybody that paid him $1,200 has won their case? No, not at all. Not at all. Not even close. <laughs> I think he's straight up lying. Did you laugh? <laughs> not even close, man. He's lying. He's lying through his teeth, man. He's lying. And the thing is, like this, you, you got to look at this, Amron Cyrus, man. We're three years in, into this stuff. Right. Three years in the fighting. Game. Tell me, every time there's a post or a, in any of these child support groups on Facebook, Every time somebody comes with a post that who in here can say that they beat their case? Cricket. Nobody says anything. Not even him. Nobody can say nothing. We're, we're bickering. We're back and forth. We're, hey, file this, file that, say this, say that. Nobody has won. So why are we discrediting each other in the fight? Why would anyone do that? I feel you, brother. And, and let me ask you a question, Gary. Um, since the federal courts have not dismissed the case that you filed, how do you feel about that? And not to mention with the knowledge and the research that you have, uh, you know, you have gone through. Uh, share, share with us, the, uh, with the American people, how you feel about the court accepting your case, not dismissing your case, and bringing it up for trial. And, and just so you know, before we go there, Gary, um, we already had a discussion. I've already showed you the proof that uh, the federal magistrate has already agreed with you. I did not dismiss your case. Is that correct? That's correct. The case is still I, active. Three I, I, left to the trial. Active. So that means that the federal magistrate um, basically agreed with you. Um, and at this juncture, what do you think it is your duty? Uh, and I use that term loosely to do with the federal magistrate. What is my duty to do with the federal magistrate? Is that what you're yeah. asking? Yeah. What is your duty? To, uh, what is your duty to convince the federal magistrate that you're wrong and they're right? And because the question is, from this federal agent that we were talking about earlier, 
the, the, right. the, 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 question, the question is, uh, do you agree or disagree with him, actually with her, that the uh, you you don't have a chance of winning? Uh, based on the evidence uh, that you know of, that you can prove, and that, yes. uh, that can be rebutted by the federal judge or the, the 4D crime family, what is your opinion yes. on what is going on uh, with the case at hand? Oh, my opinion is it's a, it's a, it's a slam dunk case. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you look at the announcement of paternity situation, that's where the bulk of our violations uh, that we have been violated. And now all the indigenous servitude, all that stuff, it should be considered. It should be considered because that's exactly what they're doing. They make you a slave, all right? And so- Wait, 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 wait. Did, but you, apart say, wait, wait, wait. Did you say they make you a slave? Yeah, they, they they make you a slave. They, they make you their slave. What you want on your plate? Do you not? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't get to decide. No. <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, you know, you don't want no cotton rings, no ham hocks, no. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. They but they don't care. They they're going to give you what they want you to have, and they're going to take from you what they want. Uh, what they want to get to, to take from you, and you have no control over it. All right, another, you know, question, there, so. another question is this, Gary, you've been trained in the 4D technique. You have studied the 4D technique. Um, your case has not been denied. Um, you have not been refused for failure to state a claim upon which relief can be granted. Um, there is someone out here on YouTube who is rooting for you to lose. Um, if you don't want to expound to our brethren out here, how you feel about this rant and rave from this federal agent? This guy, now let me just say it this way, man. I'm very confident in the knowledge that I have right now. You know, just learning the law, just learning the common sense of the law. All right. So with this guy doing this, it, he's basically just a fly in my face. You know, I'm just trying to swat him out. You know, you know, but he really doesn't affect me, but it's very sad. That somebody he he's not trying to mislead me. He knows that I'm right. He knows that my case will stand. All right. He's not dumb in that aspect. The people he's trying to trick are his followers, his listeners. Those are the people he's trying to persuade. He's trying to persuade other people from not doing what I'm doing. That's what he's trying to do. He's not tricking me, guys. He's not tricking me. <laughs> he's tricking you who give uh, attention to this asshole. He he he's tricking you. He's not tricking me, because I know he's a dumbass. I know he's a complete freaking dumbass, and if anybody listens to him, you're crazy, all right? Learn the common sense of the Constitution. Learn the common sense of the law. It's, 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 it's due process violation. They did not disclose to me the, the, the facts of the contract. Boom, that's it. You didn't disclose it to me, and you raped my pockets, giving my money back. Because had I known that, I would have never signed. It's an open and shut case. Hey, uh, and shut. hey, and hey Gary, I got to ask you, are you about to pimp slap a bitch? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. About to pimp slap me back and forward. <laughs> Damn, oh, you, oh, you, bitch, you ain't got my money? Or oh, you get the front end for it. <laughs> so, yes. Gary, um, yes, I, listen, I really appreciate your time. And uh, just so we are clear on the record, um, um, that case, um, have you ever noticed any cases that are filed against the police department and the police department is, will tell you that we cannot expound on the case because it's under litigation? Have you ever seen that? Yes, I have. I have. Okay. So what's your assertion of this person at Prince Hattery who is who who has told you through text messages, the email messages that you're gonna lose and that you can't win. What would you what would you say to that? I would say he's trying to thwart the case. He's trying to put out there when you look at the video, he puts my name out in big bold red letters. Uh -huh. right? He he gives his opinion. He he went three videos, I think 10 minutes long each video, trying to discredit everything that I'm doing. And he, he wouldn't even read each page of the case. 
He went to three videos. What person in their right mind against this illegal 40 crime family would make three videos in opposition to someone fighting me? Who, who would do that? Good question. When they know, all of us know that this is wrong, why, why would someone go to, to that much time and effort to discredit a really good case? Why, 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 would, why would someone do that? You know, he's a liar. He's a deceiver. And what we are, we're 4D destroyers. We are deception stoppers, man. That's, you know, we're trying to, de we're trying to stop the deception. He's trying to keep it going. And so, wow. so in, in, in your own personal words for this, uh, <laughs> this ends Legis, who properly identified himself by a uh, social security number and, and said he was the responder of the case. What would what would your uh, uh, response be to the to the brethren that are in the struggle? Well, my response to them is that man, you you, you got to fight this on an even playing field. You got to get it off of their battlefield and onto a neutral battlefield. Mm. You know, you, you fight this in state court. You're fighting it on their battlefield. They're they're already. You know, every everything on there, they know the land, they know everything. They're not gonna go against themselves, guys. You oh, gotta get this on an even playing field, you gotta get this on a a neutral battlefield and fight them. The, the what's what's there in the middle to be fought for? Your right, your due process. They're fighting to take your due process, take your rights, you're fighting to keep them, to keep them intact, to keep them from taking over your life, from ruining your life with your, your offspring. So this is what we have. And so in my opinion, to get this in federal court is putting this on a neutral battlefield. Because the, the, the thing at hand is your due process rights being violated is not you paying child support, right? Paying child support is a byproduct of them violating your due process. Right. Yeah. So what would the message that you would, if you had a message to give, to the people who are listening to the federal agents that are trying to put you down um, and stop you and discourage others on a national level to stop um, trying to fight child support and do it their way, which is not guaranteed. What what would you what would your apaches be for that? Oh, I, I would advocate uh, to use the 4D destroyer, man. Use Amon Osiris and, and what he has brought to the forefront. And I'll tell you, man, everything you taught me, Amon Osiris, you, you, you said it in every video. Don't take my word for it. Go look it up. You got people like Rick W. who advocate for you. You got people in the struggle who, who are fighting this, who advocate you. You advocate me. What I see from you, Amon Osiris, man, you're trying to build a team against this stuff. You're not trying to create enemies. You're, you're not trying to create foes. You, you see somebody, if, if they disagree, you, you bring them in. We're all in the fight together. And that's what I see you do. You're trying to create unity in this fight where other people are trying to, trying to create division in the fight. And so the, the best thing to do, what the government does is they, they divide and conquer. That's what they do. They divide and conquer. It's the oldest trick in the book, divide and conquer. You know? And, and that's what this guy's trying to do. You got people who listen to Amon Osiris. I, I don't think anybody in this country would know as much about the child support system and the Title IV D crooks if you were not there putting out the videos. I think everybody have listened to you. Have you have springboarded their fight against it? All right. You got people like Rick W. who was going to give up until he heard your videos, until he heard you fight. You know. I mean, I mean, you're trying to create unity and family in this thing. Where we fight it together. Because if one person win, we all win. And that's the attitude we should have. And why would this guy try to discredit the efforts of people who are trying to do good? Trying to do good. Even though you may lose, even though you may get knocked down. The thing is, you got to look at the foundation. The foundation of what you teach is correct. It's irrefutable. I don't care if there's a dog out there saying it. It's right. So with, with this, what this guy is doing, man, trying to discredit our, our, our honest, uh, rightful efforts in, in fighting to get uh, our due process right, corrected, get it, get it, uh, 
get our due process rights uh, heard in court where they violated us. Why was this guy discredited that? And see, he could, he really couldn't. When you listen, listen to the last video, he really couldn't discredit it. You know? I'm, I'm glad you said he really, that. <laughs> he really couldn't discredit because when he gets down to the last part of, the, of my document where it says they violated my due process by not letting me know the legal consequences of signing fraternity, his response was, well, hey, you were married. You got a legal right. You got a legal duty to the public to take care of your kids and pay child support. This is a guy who's supposed to be an opponent of child support, telling me that I have a legal duty. Think about that. When he said legal duty, that let me know right there he was a fraud. Wow. Because he doesn't know, he doesn't care about your personal freedom, your 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 personal uh, uh, decisions to take care of your child and your family the way you see fit. You made them in private, you take care of them in private. He does not believe that. He's on the side of you have a legal duty to the public. I do not have no legal duty to the government or the public. I don't have no contract with them. And the contract that exists, it exists by fraud. And that's what I'm fighting. Wow. Until I go to the public and ask them to help me with my child, I don't owe y'all shit. Hey, um, let me ask you a personal question. You've, you've seen a few of his videos, right? Yes, I've seen a few. Okay, have you ever learned anything? <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. Have you ever learned anything about how to go up against the 4D crime family? And be no, I've learned nothing. You learn more stuff that's gonna get you further entangled with them. I, I believe, I believe, I, I believe uh, wholeheartedly that he's trying to get you more intertwined with them where you can't get out. So. In essence, it's fair to say that out of all the 308 videos that this individual has posted, uh, I don't know if you have watched all 308 videos, but out of all the videos that you have watched from this individual, have you ever learned anything other than you're going to lose? No, never learned anything. He, all he talks about is if you use this guy's services, you're going to lose. <laughs> That's what he always say. He never has any solution, never has any uh, uh, alternative ways, and, and he's totally one eighty of what you uh, what you encourage. Uh, he's totally against federal court, which when you look at Blessing versus Freestone, oh, the great school. Damn, 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 James, why you got to take it there? <laughs> Play, get him quoted, brother. Get him quoted. Yeah, when you look at Blessing versus Freestone, and when these five ladies were trying to uh, go after the child support agency because the child support agency wouldn't go after their husband, their ex-husband, the judge told them, uh, Title IV-D does not give you a federal right. So you're, you're ass out. So that in turn worked in favor for us. If it doesn't give them a federal right, well, why are they able to exercise that that federal, that quote, federal right against us? They can't. Wow. And child support was created to benefit the, 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 the taxpayers and the state treasury was not created to benefit Ooh. people. And, uh, okay. Now, let me say this, gentlemen, if you have learned and you have read <laughs> Right Forgot Remedies, you would know this information. Uh, get it, James. <laughs> Oh, Scott, uh, give me. Yeah, Scott. Yeah. So, have you learned what you need to learn about child support? Yes, I've learned what I need to learn. I, I, I would say through, through this whole ordeal, man, that when you tell us, you, when we talk on the phone or something, you tell tell us, tell me that. Hey, you already have what you need, man. You got everything. You, you got it. And you're right. I do. It's going to take effort, man. You're fighting against an evil entity that try to keep yourself here. And so I, I have what I needed. And now while I did, I went and listened to your videos. And, and you, you're you keep, keeping us up to date, keeping us informed. And, hey, the, the 42 USC 666, I drove that one home. I power drive that in the ground with them, man. 
Yeah. I drove that in the ground. I said they they they're not gonna get rid of this. I'm putting that I'm concreting that into the into the ground. So <laughs> they're not gonna be able to root, uproot that. Yeah, and, that's and gonna be my brother. You did it. And for those who are seeking relief and judgment and remedy, um, what will be your expression, King? Uh, my expression is to, to attack them in federal court, get Amin Osiris, get with him, man. I'm, uh, I'm, and I'm not saying this to to blow his business up or blow his revenue up or whatever, man. I'm saying because I believe he through it throughout this whole ordeal. You know, you you you're a one man show that's trying to help people, and I applaud that. And um, you know, guys, help Amin Osiris help you. Oh God, he's telling the truth. He's putting it out there. Videos and stuff. These people in uh, in these governments have been trying to shut him down because he's telling the truth. There's no one trying to shut that other guy down that's speaking against me. Nobody's trying to shut him down. Yeah. You know? Hey, yo, hey, James. That should tell you something about that. Ain't that crazy? How do I feel about that? You got Osiris um, trying to help, and yet you got other people who are hell bent. And listen to this, and 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 uh, hater, I hope you listen to this. Here we are. We're hell bent on giving you videos and information that will stop the t the 4D crime family. And you got people out there telling you, "Oh, it, it's not gonna work." I mean, that's sick. So yeah, it's really sick. You yeah, gotta understand. Yeah, you know, hey, let me ask you a question. I mean, I mean, how sick do you think that is? Well, I'm gonna tell you how sick I think it is. You gotta liken it for what what it is is modern day systematic slavery. And it, like, I, let's go back to slavery. Say you're trying to fight this, fight actual slavery in court. You're trying to go to a state that like Alabama or Georgia that's already institute, they already have slavery instituted, and you're trying to go to their own courts and say, look, slavery is wrong. You go into their own state, a state that upholds slavery, you're trying to go to their own courts and tell them that slavery is wrong and they need to stop. When they're making so much money off the slavery, and the judges and the lawyers are getting paid off the slavery, but yet you want to go to their courts and, and to their faces and tell them that they're wrong. And uh -huh. expect some type of remedy from it. Really? Are you really? Is that really what you're doing? <laughs> All right. Yeah, so when you yeah, look at how James, this, James un, un, under whose under whose uh, yeah. uh, recommendation is that? They they, they got it to fight me. <laughs> they got it <they> <laughs> making videos about me. Y'all saying about it. Yeah. And he's the uh, one advocating that. Thank you, James. I really appreciate you. This is James Williams. Um, who Gary has, Scott, Gary. No, excuse me, James Scott, who has a federal lawsuit, who on June the 8th will be going in for a discovery conference and a scheduling conference. Um, his yes. case has not, and James confirmed this, your case has not been dismissed, and the federal no, court said, been... but then Gary, court Gary, said, Gary. He said, hey, listen, yeah. We agree with you, and we're going to go to trial on this basis. Is that true or false? That's true. Uh, Gary, it's Gary Lynn Scott. James is my best friend. <laughs> and there he is. I'm going to give a, 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 a shout out to him. But what I want you to comprehend, hey, Gary, if uh, if you don't agree, by all means, uh, please tell us you, you, you object. All right. We are here to help you rid yourself of the 4D crime family. I'm not here to discredit anybody else or what anybody else is doing, but I can tell you this, um, the, the, the magnified fraud who is allegedly posting, or excuse me, who is posting testimonies um, basically, basically is saying that every case that they have encountered, they have dismissed, and that is not true. I have never given that impression, and I'm going to tell you, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Gary, would you agree with that or not? Yeah, I agree, because you know what? I, I keep it in perspective. I agree with everything you just said. I keep it in perspective. 
when you're fighting the slave driver, you got to understand who you're fighting. You see, and there was a war that had to be fought. The slave driver, yes, he was challenged every time to stop his slavery, all right, because it was wrong, all right? He didn't stop, all right? Even though the law was on the side of the plaintiff against him, he didn't stop, all right? So a war had to be fought, and he was made to stop, okay? You got to understand that stuff like this goes on in a wicked world, man. You got people who stand up for what's right. You got Martin Luther King who stood up for what's right, and he was stoned. He was spat on. He was took to jail. You got people in the world who are evil, okay? And you can stand up for what's right all day. doesn't mean you're going to win. But, yes, in the end, the truth will prevail. And, yes, there will be a victory. Um, there's many people who went up to fight, fight the beast. There's many people that went to fight the beast. A lot of people fought Goliath and lost. But there's going to be one David. There's, there's, one, there's going to be one person. One, one David is going to stand tall one day. And yes, we're going to take that rock to his damn head. You know, so, you know, it, it, you got you to gotta look at it that way, man. We, we're fighting against evil in high places, wickedness in high places. And this is it. For the love of money is the root of all evil. But these people are loving money, and they love money just enough to violate your right to make a slave out of you. And you got to understand that. So, they have no interest in letting you go. So, Gary, would it be fair to say, and I'm going to say this in a, in, a, in, in our YouTube podcast, uh, Mr. Parks has everybody who you have accepted $1,200 from won their case. Gary, uh, would, would you agree or disagree? I would strongly Disagree. <laughs> you, okay. Don't agree. So, so, Mr. Parks, out of all the cases that you have done, and thank you, Gary, for participating with us, all, out of all the, pace, uh, the cases you have done, all right, has everybody won their case? And if that was the case, if everybody won off the testimonies that you posted, Mr. Terry Parks, and I, I'm not going to mention any names. But why don't you list all of the people who have hired you? And Gary, you listening to me? All right. Yes, I'm listening. But that have hired you have won their case. How many people that have hired you within the last, what, three years that you've been doing child support have won their case? Why don't you post that for us? Gary Scott, I really appreciate your time. Let me ask you a question. Your case... The case that you filed against the 45 family was not dismissed. Is that correct? Not dismissed. It's, a cur it's actively and currently current at this time. It's headed, headed for trial in three months. And do you feel, and, and we're going to have a, like I said, I'm going to beat your head in with uh, the 40 tactics. Do you feel that with the knowledge that you have now that Title 4D can decimates you or beat you? Say, say that one more time. I'm sorry. I said, do you feel that with the knowledge that you have, that Title IV D can beat you? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't think they can beat me at all. I think I'm going to go in there and smash their head in. Okay. Um, and as far as, as far as Mr. Parks uh, posting all these videos, well, uh, tell us your feelings about that. I just feel sorry for the people that actually listen to that bullshit. <laughs> mm. oh, that, that's why I feel so sorry. I don't feel sorry for myself. You know, <laughs> I feel sorry for the people that actually listen to it. You know, especially a guy that won't show his face, that won't stand by his words. You know. And and how do you feel, uh, Gary? You know what I look like, right? Yeah, I know exactly what you look like, man. All right, exactly. Uh, uh, do Do you know who the person? who basically defiled and said that I'm a fraud, um, did, did, did they show what they look like? No, I don't know. I wouldn't, I couldn't point him out. If, you know, only thing I'm, if, if, only way I could recognize him is by the little stupid little voice he has. You know? <laughs> that's, the, that's the only way I could recognize him. Okay. And uh, would you feel better if this creature shows his face? I wouldn't feel better, but 
it, it, it'll, it'll actually show that who he is. And I believe at the time, if he actually showed his face, he would stop. He would stop even doing this. He would stop. Okay. And do you feel that the person who told you that you can't win, you're going to lose, is a federal agent or not? Yeah, I think I, at the core, I think he's working for the government. Yeah. Wow. Okay. When he told me that I have a. When he told you, got to listen to his words, guys. He said, I have a legal duty. When he said that, that said federal informant. That, wow. that all day long. When he told so, me so, that so I have a that, legal duty. You feel that the, the person who posted the video uh, against uh, the legal name was a legal informant? Yes, I do. I think he was a is a bona fide informant for the for the government. When he told me I have a legal duty, that that that's all I need to hear. That told me right there that he's a liar, he's a fraud, and he's tricking people. He's trying to turn people away from you because you're actually telling the truth about this stuff. He's trying to steer them away, you know, and he's trying to use the the, the you know the basis of hey everybody didn't win using the name of Osiris, everybody didn't lose. Well, he's trying to use that tactic. Well, the thing is, when I look at what you teach, it's right. When I look at you as a, a, a advocate, uh, uh, you're you're to me you're an abolitionist. You're going about being an abolitionist to slavery, and you got people along the way. You got these Negroes on the way. I don't know if you've seen the movie Harriet Tubman, but you got these people who you 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 who who help. Who, who the same black folk who would help the slave master hunt down the slaves? And what's it never is, is, man? You think that's it, God is magnified? That's that's the very part. That's who it is. Okay. He's the one that's hunting down the slaves, say, say trying to get you back on the slave plantation. Say that one more time. He's the one hunting down the slaves, trying to bring the slaves back to the plantation. And why? Do you and he's say, doing it for money. Why do you think he doesn't want you to win? So he can get paid. He can keep getting paid. He 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 works for the government. He has a vested financial interest in this or something. He's got to be. What else could it be? Wow, uh, brother. I, I, uh, oh my God, Scary Scott. I really appreciate your time, and I hope the American people will come to learn that. We are on your side. We're not, listen, we're not going to knock anybody who's getting the case dismissed. All right? And if they can do that, then so be it. But my thing, and uh, Gary, I don't know if, you're, if it's your thing, um, is this. If you can prove that everybody has paid you $1,200, right? And that's beyond the, uh, 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 you do know about the plagiarized per, uh, paperwork, right? When he was right, right. Out of paperwork for you know thousands of two hundred dollars or whatever, whatever, whatever. All right, and that's fine. But our sentiment here is education. Gary, would you agree that education has helped you along with this case? Oh, so that's that's been the greatest asset is education, um, because just like. I'm learning it. You had to learn it. You learned it. You taught me. You poured the information into my life, and you're pouring it onto the life of the American people, trying to teach them. I, I think all across the country, man, you have inspired groups like CPS, people who are fighting on the other side of this corruption. Um, you, you, your, your basis, your, your foundation uh, in teaching this has sparked uprisings in all parts of the country against this. I can't say that for for that guy. Terry Parks is not trying to do stuff like that. He's not trying to hate, uh, help the uh, the greater uh, the greater people. He's not trying to help for the greater good. He's only attacking from a personal level. That tells you me when you you. Uh, not to uh, not to cut you off, but have you ever did you ever learn anything from what was posted by this individual? Not a damn thing. <laughs> Not a damn thing, man. Uh, I mean, other than I think, commercials and saying we can do this and we can do that, have you ever learned anything from the channel? No, nah, man. I'll be, be honest. You know, uh, I hadn't learned anything from that guy, man. He, you know, 
I just I just never have ne- never have learned anything from him. So, I mean, I think I think he posted some video about the Three Stooges or some, and and that's the only video that, that you know that made a got got some sort of attention out of me to where he's learning some. But other than that, man, he 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 I never learned anything from him. But that your your method is wrong. You're gonna lose. Uh, okay, and that's all I've ever learned from. Him. That's, you're gonna lose using this guy, you you know. But he never comes back and said my way is is uh is bona fide. My way is true. My way is gonna get you remedy. He never says that. And and there's evidence out there that people who have paid him for his services, he hadn't even started with him. He hadn't even did anything with him. He just left him hanging, you know. Okay, and you know what? The most important thing here is that you, your case has not been denied. Um, you have a settlement conference coming. And how do you feel about Mr. Parks uh, posting your information? Oh, and and it being this close to me. Oh, wait, before you say that, how do you feel about him posting your information in a negative point of view? Oh, he he's trying to discredit what I'm doing. It's so close to trial. It's so close to victory that he's scared he's going to get uh, found to be wrong if this goes through and 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 we win. Now he he have no leg to stand on. And he's trying to defeat me. He's trying to trying to create all these videos to discredit the situation, to, to credit to discredit the case, discredit my argument, everything, which really. He's kind of advocating for when you when he when he reads it, it's kind of any kind any smart person will realize that well hey, if he signed a contract that they didn't uh, give him the legal uh, uh, give him the uh, disclosure about, then yeah he had the case. And uh, you you real about that? Ah man, he <laughs> I just kind of laugh at him and just shake my head. And, and like I said, man, anybody who lists that guy, they're, they're they're at their own risk, you know. I mean, he won't show his face. That should be one red flag right there. That's just, that that should be enough to block him. Uh, for the main fact that he. How do you feel about? All right, you know what I look like. What about a man who shoots insults at other people? Not only myself, but other people, but will never show his face. How do you feel about that? Man. He's a straight up punk ass coward. That's what he is. That's exactly. Someone who shoot insults to somebody else, and then you want to even show your face when anybody can get back at you. You a punk ass. I mean, dude, that's the most punkish shit ever. I mean, just, just excuse my language, man, but I have no respect for a guy like that. Absolutely, absolutely no respect. Yeah, I'm absolutely no fucking respect for somebody like that who would who would discredit someone else their efforts to help and they're actually showing their face we actually join hands with the person we actually call the person just to see what how they're doing when this guy wants to discredit that come on man you, you that's the biggest punkish and then for the matter of fact you will put something like yas magnified on on your title <laughs> and you won't even show your face that has to, yeah it doesn't have anything to do no with y'all no, ain't no god no coward yeah God is not a coward, so show your faith, coward. Mm, say you know? one more time. Say one more time, Scott. Yah, Yah's magnified. Show your face, coward. Harry Parks, Yah's magnified. Please show your face, man. Stop being a punk. Mm. And this is the same guy. This is the same guy who tried to discourage you and tell you you're going to lose. And why do you think right. he did that? Uh, just to, I know you said it earlier, but for one more time, why do you think? Uh, Fraud is magnified. Is is telling you you're gonna lose. And and uh, wait before you go there is posting your case and taking time out of his schedule to try to discredit you or me as opposed to teaching things. Why do you think he would do that? Uh, because he's he's mad. He's mad. He's mad about something in the past or something. He's just trying to. He has a personal vendetta against you, trying to discredit your services and. It's really cheap. It's really cheesy that someone who wears a title like Yah is magnified will actually actually participate in something like that, which somebody is trying to help. 
for the greater good, and he's going to intercept it in a, or try to intercept it and make it a personal issue to discredit helping millions of people. Not only would this help people in the United States, it would help people in other states where this system resides. You know, there's other countries that have this same system, and you're telling me, dude, you're, 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 you're de decreasing this to some personal childish vendetta that you have against somebody, and people's lives are being ruined for profit, people being made slaves for profit, and you're sitting up here making this a personal issue, and you're persuading people your way, knowing that you're lying, knowing that you're a coward. I have absolutely no respect for somebody like that, man. And there it is. Everybody, you have it from Gary Scott. Gary, I really appreciate you spending uh, your Sunday afternoon uh, taking some of your time uh, to share with the Alma the Sides of God of Law. Hey, Gary, you are a 4D destroyer. And me and you have a meeting uh, before you go to court. And you're going to beat this thing, are you not? Yes or no? Yes, I'm going to beat it, man. Can can, this, can the 4D crime family come back and tell you that you're wrong after the information that you have gotten that proves them wrong? Oh yeah, they'll try. I mean, you got you got to understand how crooked these people are, man. When you look at the case in California against the late the lady that uh, filed against CPS for uh, CPS lying uh, to the court to take their child, and the judge come right out to the state saying, are you really telling this court that you you think it was okay to lie, to take someone's child? Listen to this, man. This is this, this the judge, the, the, the judge in the federal court, uh, uh, they, they, they listen to that and they couldn't believe what they were hearing. There's lawyers and people out there that, that think it's okay to lie, to take your property, to take your children, as long as you, they think you consented to it, you signed some kind of contract. They think it's okay. So you got to understand who you're dealing with. Mm. Amen Osiris is not our enemy. He is our friend. He's trying to help. Yes, he's helping us fight Goliath. He's helping us fight an evil entity. You know, and for you to discredit somebody, man, you, you, I, 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 I can't even find a word of how cowardly that is, how despicable that is, how childish it is. Mm. You engage in such stuff, man. You, 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 you're nothing but a, I mean, I can't even think of a lower word to describe that behavior, man. And, and Gary, you're strong. You're just strong. You, you got a trial coming up. I know we're, me and you are going to, uh, we're going to bury ourselves that weekend before the trial, but what is your uh, mental and godly and spiritual outcome of this case? My outcome is that there's going to be a great victory, and we're going to set, we're going to celebrate the victory with, with like-minded individuals who have been fighting this. This will be a win for the public, be a win for America. It's going to be a win for me and my family, my children. You know, I mean, I, I, I want to build my kids a basketball court in my backyard, man, a real really? nice one. Oh, no, wait. And, uh, Can I come down and get some yeah. foul shots? <laughs> yeah, and, and the thing is, you got to look at, look at it like this. I could have built it already had it not been for Title Four D. Mm-hmm. Okay. I could have built it. A third party uh officious intermeddler. Would you agree? Yes, I agree. Gary, I really appreciate your time. And uh listen folks, I am not trying to discourage you from using anybody that you feel pleased. All right, but what I am going to discourage you against is people who are discouraging other people who are fighting for their rights to, to shed a beacon of hope and a, a illumination for yourself. Uh, Gary, would you agree that's what you're doing? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing all the way, man. Okay. And I'm helping others. You help me and I'm helping others, man. Trying to, trying to, trying to spread the knowledge. Uh, 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 I, I'll tell you what, what you, what you did for me, Amon Osiris, man. You, the, the, the stuff that you t teach in your videos, you're able to apply this to other situations. All right. So I had a friend who called me about them losing custody of their child. And so I told them to look, fire your lawyer, fire your lawyer, get your evidence, go in there and state your claim with your evidence. 
What about they call me back three weeks later crying that they want custody of their, t- their kids? <laughs> yes, I'm encouraging them to stand up, man. Encouraging them to stand up and fire their crooked lawyers. And, 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 you know, I appreciate your time um, because there are federal agents out here who are putting false information out about you and the case that we have done. And um, we appreciate your input. And we know now, you know, why would someone uh, or anyone who is a victim of the 4D program reject and and tell you what you have done is going to lose? All right, that is not encouragement. That is encouragement on the other side. All right, yeah, you have shared that with us. Um, you have shared the conversation that you have had with these fraud, <laughs> with these frauds are magnified, and we appreciate yeah. you. And um, the beauty of it is, when it's all said and done, uh, we're going to come back here in a month or two, and we're going to discuss the terms of your victory. Yes. Okay. And more importantly, uh, I'm going to put out this. And uh, by all means, Gary, you can concur and not concur. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Ford D. Agent Parks, how is it that you're, and now we know how you found out about Gary's case, but how are you finding out about all these other people's cases that you're posting on YouTube? And what uh, you have- those are my cases. And uh, 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 Brother Scott, what is your input on that? Well, you know what? One thing I observed is that throughout the whole thing in his videos, he says, he never once says, Brother Scott, I hope you win, man. I hope you beat him. You think, you he think never he says sincere? one time. Yes. Say what? Do you think he was sincere? Oh, no, not at all. He 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 never once said, hey, I don't I don't believe in his services, but hey, it looked like you got a good case. Hope you win. He never says anything like that. His whole thing is doom and gloom. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. And this is the reason you're going to lose. But the thing is, he never could come up with a good reason. Because when he, when he posted my responses to their motion, he, he really didn't know what to say. He, he, he couldn't refute it because it's plain and simple. 42 U.S.C. 666 says simple civil process. The, 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 the mother and the putative father must be giving notice orally and by uh, audio and video and in writing, and in writing. It doesn't say or in writing. It says and in writing of the legal consequences of signing an acknowledgement of paternity. He never he must be given. Say what? He never explained that to you? No, never once explained. He never explained. I mean, he, he, he doesn't even talk about that. He doesn't even talk about that. So he never talked about it. the only thing that you know about is these testimonies and somebody wanting you to pay twelve hundred dollars for service. Well, I'll be honest with you, man. I quit listening to that guy. You uh, probably I never really listened to him much. I listened to him one time and I knew he was a fraud. Because I know the truth in my heart, man. I, I know. I know the court, the foundation, the truth in my heart. What, what, what made you consider that he was a fraud after the first time you listened to him? Because the, what he said didn't make sense. It just didn't make sense. I, I'm a very logical person. I am a domino person. You knock this domino down, that domino should fall. Right. I, I'm very logical. That's, I'm, a, I'm an electrician. So everything we do is by logic. When this right. you push this button, that's gonna cut on. Push that button, that's gonna go on. You know, that's that's how my mind is set up. So his thing did not match up. You know, it's easy to prove when you say, Okay, I was duped into a contract, they in turn took my money. I'm wondering why they took my money. I learned they duped me into a contract. I learned that they did not disclose the full uh ramifications of the contract, which in turn that's fraud. I filed a lawsuit. In fraud, I should win because I proved the fraud. That's logic. I agree. And that is logic. Just so the American people could know, um, your case was not dismissed. 
True or false? Nope. Okay. And you have a trial, whether it's jury or bench set, uh, bench uh, uh, a trial coming up shortly, correct? Coming up shortly, June the twenty third. Okay. So let me ask you a question. How do you feel about this person trying who's making a four part series about you losing to discourage the American people? I feel like it's gonna it's gonna discredit everything he's doing if I win. So he's trying to to, to, to add more fuel to the fire for me losing. And he's trying to encourage me a loss so, so it'll bolster his point. Wow. That's pretty deep. How do you feel about that? I mean, it's, you know, I could say I'm pissed off about it, but re in reality, I'm just focusing on his case. And I just shake my head and, you know, man, it, you know, he's deserved to have his ass beat for tricking people. And swindling people, not what about the greatest. Say that again one more time. <laughs> he, deserves have, he deserves to have his ass kicked, you know, for swindling people and 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 and, and tricking people, man, and not showing his face. He won't even show his face. So I guess we can threaten that. him. He can really, he can't really, he can't really come back because we don't even know who he is. Oh, what yeah. is like? Let's threaten him. Let's, let's threaten him. Let's do a bombing threat and see if he'll file a case against him. That way we'll know who he is. <laughs> is there a particular reason why you don't want, uh, why you think he doesn't want people to know who he looks like and what he is? Because he, he's working for the government. That's the only thing that makes sense. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Well, uh, working for the government. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it. Um, we are here. And uh, this is a, a little bit longer of a uh, YouTube uh, uh, live uh, interview that I do. Um, my brother, I really appreciate you I, uh, with coming on and sharing the knowledge. Um, you have a court date. Your, uh, your, your claims were never dismissed. And here you have someone who is hoping that your claims will dismiss or uh, will be dismissed on the basis of they can run their government scam. And uh, right. Scott, yeah, I really appreciate you, brother. And uh, you have no idea how much you have alleviated and helped the American people. And I'm going to say this, Mr. Parks, you are fucked. Okay, so um, uh, this is what I'm going to say. Out of all the people that you allegedly uh, charge $1,200 a month for. Um, show us how many people in one month you can get free. Because guess what? The Amino Cyrus is going to keep it free. Uh, 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 Scott, did I not explain to you uh, before me and you did business that I cannot guarantee any any, any outcome of any services? Yeah, you, you told me told me that at the beginning. Say yes, yeah, you were confident that uh, what they're doing is wrong and we should win but hey there's no guarantee you told me that straight up okay and 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 let me ask you a question when you were an uh uh contacted by the fraud uh was there any guarantees that yeah you you switch services we will we will dismiss this case for you uh no mm -mm. okay good Nope. All right. So the fact of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, I I have tried many cases. I've been out here for 30 years, as opposed to the four years that certain people have been out here. All right, we have not won every case, but if the uh, individual, and look up the word individual, is stating that uh, we have no wins and no victories. All right, and, and if they can state that every time they uh, produce $1,200 paperwork, and even after they plagiarize my shit and other people's shit, all right, that, uh, <laughs> that they have a victory, then by all means, put it down. Now, you want to talk about embarrassment? Look up the word embarrass, all right? We caught you <laughs> embarrass, all right, and you are exposed, boy, okay? But either or, if you want to learn the 4D counter technique, stop by uh, my uh, 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 4D underscore destroyer at yahoo.com. 
Uh, the new website will be coming out very soon. Hey, Gary, I appreciate you. Hey, Gary, uh, let me ask you one more question. Do you feel as though with the knowledge that you have now, would you decimate the 4D crime family when it comes to June 28th? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely, man. It's, it's too too simple. It's too simple. With what they've done, it, they, it, they're just like what Satan did. Satan uh, uh, lied in the garden to Eve by using one word. And the same thing that, 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 that they've done, they've denied my due process right by not simply telling me the, the full disclosure. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's the same thing, man. These people are evil. And um, you got to recognize who you're fighting and that they are going to work in cahoots together. This is a, a cash cow for them. And anytime money is involved, guys, they're going to jump through hoops to stop it. All right. So, uh, these judges, even some of these federal judges, even some of these federal judges used to be 4D uh, contractors. These some of these some of these lawyers and judges who are in federal court now used to be 4D contractors. All right. So guys, there's no guarantee in this. We are fighting against some evil people. All right. So luckily, you know, I have a magistrate that hadn't kicked my case out, and so. Well, hopefully we got somebody that has a heart, that has a, a, a mind for truth and justice and for the Constitution to hear this case out and get adjudicated. That's what I'm talking about. And um, uh, 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 Gary, if you don't mind, what would you send out for a message for the fraud is magnified, Mr. Terry Parks? Man, this is what I was asking. Man, it would do everybody. You would do you would do a great justice to the world by just shutting your mouth and showing your face and sitting the fuck down. Listen. That's what I'm talking about, Gary. I appreciate you. We have uh, you have shared a Sunday afternoon with me, and even though since it's a shutdown since the coronavirus, um, you know I appreciate you, and uh, we've had time. And uh, we are going to, um, not only are we going to prepare you for what's to come, but we're going to prepare you for the, uh, the, the video that shows that you won't these crackers ass, okay? Right. And then we're going to shut uh, the government, federal agents, FBI, DEA, whatever they are, the, the Terry Parks, all right, you're going to get shut down, all right? Because the beauty of it is, and look, and I want everybody to know, I don't have a beef with Mr. Parks. Mr. Parks is only promoting me, all right, because he has not been out here long enough. He's still got my cum dripping off his chin, all right? So, and, and we appreciate that. And I'm not mad at you, Terry, because you're great for business. But when it comes to the facts, all right, you've heard it for yourself. All right, I don't want, I don't, I don't comprehend. I would never, ever, in the history of knowing what I know, uh, even if you hired the scam artist, I would never discourage you from going forth and fighting for your rights. Uh, Scott, would you agree with that or disagree with that? Oh, I, I agree with it. Uh, I right. totally, man. Right. If you're with, if you're with it, and you're with us, then you're with it. But why would one of us come back and try to discourage? All right, a, a lawsuit as opposed to, and look, check this out. I'm going to go one real deep. You're, you're listening, Scott? Yeah, I'm here. If by chance I was off, I made a, 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 a mistake or whatever, I would expect Mr. Parks to give me some encouragement to correct the problem so we can continue as opposed to being uh, as opposed to being opposed to it just to try to serve a personal agenda. How do you feel about that, uh, 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 my brother? Man, through this whole ordeal, you know, I understand that you, you, you like super busy, people are, are getting your services. And that's why I tell people, help Amen Osiris help you, because there's nobody else in the country that's doing it. All right, guys, you got to understand it. Study the law. Get you, do what he says. Get your black law dictionary. Study the videos. He's putting the information out there for those who can draft their own documents. All right. If you if, if he gets you in the gate, 
get, get in the gate and get you your first response to your to your to your 4D a crime family, then hey, you should be able to take it from there, guys. You know, come on, you, you, we all have to help each other, okay? And let me tell you something: for fifteen hundred dollars, Amy Osiris has helped me all this way. But me, it took me helping myself too. It took me responding and listening to the videos and drafting my documents myself, because I know that Amy Osiris is trying to help other people as well, okay? You don't pay this stuff and just lay down and let him do all the work. You don't do that. We're all fighting this together. And you know good and well if you had to pay some lawyer out there, some crooked ass lawyer who's a 4D uh, teammate, all right, <laughs> you know you will be out of 20 grand. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop stop the bull, you know? And I, I'm telling yeah, you, man, I've got are, this far. We are a lot of insects and we appreciate you here. And, um, Listen, um, I'm going to listen. Check. Hey, Gary, are you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. America, are you ready? Hey, check this out. I'm going to be on some positive shit. Hey, Gary, um, before we leave this webinar, I would ask you to put out a positive note about y'all is magnified, and I will do the same. Man, that's hard. <laughs> oh, man, you know what? I find it hard too. So we're gonna leave it at that. We can't push a, a, a positive note, all right? And uh, you know what? It is what it is. And uh, you know what? It, you know it's gonna be what it's gonna be. A hey, uh, hey, Terry Parks, we tried, all right? But we, I'm not mad at you, Gary. Are you mad at him? No, I'm not mad at him at all, man. All right, we ain't mad at you, you know? Parks. All right, but what we would like is for you to join. The team, Gary, would you agree or disagree? Yeah, man, join the team and stop fighting against us, man. Rick okay. W, Amon Osiris, all of us are trying to fight this stuff, man. Come on. Well, what, what business do you have to fight against us, man? We, I'm a father that loves my children, man, and I'm being prevented from caring for them like they, like I see fit. They're taking away my rights, man. They're taking away their, 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 their fortune. And you know, I, I want to build them, things, man. How do you feel about it? I feel very. When they take away my stuff, man, I feel very angry, angry about it. And I feel more angry when I got somebody up there like Terry Parks who's advocating for them to keep doing it to me. And more importantly, who's advocating, don't do it. Yeah, you want to lose. I mean, look, man, we check this out. I don't care who you use. I don't care if you use Terry Parks or whoever. All right, as long as you win, that's... Hey, hey Gary, would you would you agree that's what, that's what's all important? That's what it's all about, man. That's that's the main goal. That's the main goal. Yeah, I mean, you know, look, hey, put all this out way you wall. Winning and you beating them, bro. We are one hundred percent behind you. Would you agree, Gary? Yes, I agree. But but why are you not one hundred percent behind us? Exactly. Exactly. And, and that, that makes you know, like they're the, fed, the, 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 they're fed, and everybody else that they're fed. And even though you you may not be a fed, but bro, check this out. I'm not at war with you. You can't go to war with the god. Your arms are too short. I'm sitting up too high, too high for you to box with me. Right. And you are a winner. You are not a loser. You will succeed and i don't mean in the, in the black's law dictionary of the de evolution of title to property you will succeed in the advancement of your case and i don't care who is against you because guess what and god said it was so you are god and all you have to do is see that it was so the only thing that i'm going to do is wish that mr parks would bless his personal private positive energy for gary so we can shut the system down and we can work together gary do you have a problem with that no problem at all man that's the way it should be would you like to send out a shout to mr parks mr parks man quit the foolishness we're all fighting this together we're all fighting uh to get justice together i uh, mean there's fathers out here sleeping on the bridges dude there's fathers out here uh that are homeless over this stuff, man, and you're making a joke out of it. You're telling us to keep feeding into this this beast that are making fathers homeless. 
How dare you, man? Take your head out of your ass. Which, you know, at the end of it, man, I think you're going to keep it in there because that's where the government resides. You want to be buddy-buddy with them, so keep it up in there if that's what you want to do. But, you know, you, you're, you're wrong, dude. You're fighting against the people. You're fighting against the freedom and liberties of the people. And, you, and you're wrong. Now, I never support you. I never advocate for you as long as you're doing stuff like this. But you you don't scare me, man. You don't bother me, dude. You you putting those videos out about my case and everything. You you you're not bothering me, but basically you advocated for me at the at your last video when you seen that I got him by contract, and your only response was, well, he has a legal duty to take care of his kids. Well, mm -hmm. the public and the government did not control the way I take care of my children, dude. That's where you fucked up. That's the most fucked up thing you said in your videos. Is I have a legal duty? That tells me right there you're on the side of the government. A legal duty? What the hell? <laughs> you just telling us just give up your freedom, dude. That what you said in that in, in that in that phrase. You have a legal duty. Give up your freedom. Yeah, volunteer to be a slave because you have a legal duty. Yeah, you know, my kids have never been on welfare. They never asked the government for one goddamn dime, and never will as long as I'm living. So you telling me I have a legal duty, dude? Kiss my ass. Now. That's all I got to say about that. Okay, indeed. But, uh, you know, because we are gods of law, um, I would ask that you would give something positive to Mr. Parks. That's the most positive thing that we said is what I just rattled off. Okay, well, you know what? I'll give something positive. Mr. Parks, may the gods, may the black gods of the universe bless you and may they enhance you and your family and may you realize what is going on here even though we all know what's going on and we all know who you are but we're going to bless you anyway gary does that work for you that'll work that'll work, that'll right. work. It is. And I, I, I i understand that you cannot say that to him and you know what parks that's a shame that a real man i who can't even say that to you because you can't show your face and you can't back up anything you're saying but i Personally, and Gary, no disrespect to you. Parks, I bless you. I give you my God ability, which you will never be able to comprehend. But you know what? We over here at 4D-Destroyers.com and Gary, we're not mad at you. And guess what? Uh, when you are ready to, to, to switch over from the federal government side to the private side with me and Gary, hey, Gary, we're on the private side, right? We're good. That is correct. We're private. When you're ready to join us over here, all right, and guess what? Check this out. I'm not worried about anything that you said, because guess what? You can't do anything, and it's you who fear me. But more importantly, I would rather be your ally than your enemy, but I love enemies too because they're great to get rid of, and trust me, I got plenty of room in my trunk for everything. All right. <laughs> hey, Gary, I appreciate your time, brother. And uh, I hope the American people appreciate your time. Um, I hope you take what Gary has said in consideration. Gary, is there anything else that you would like to uh, 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 express for the American people? I, I just love all you guys. Like I stated in the Facebook groups, when I come and bring the truth and bring the knowledge that I have, I'm open to to, to correction, I'm open to criticism because I'm I'm at the point that we none of us know it all. We're all trying to help each other. But I will say that when I do bring the knowledge, when I do bring the truth, it's out of a heart of love for my fellow man and concern. So that's what I have to say, man. I love each and every one of you guys out there, and I hope you fight against this beast, fight against this 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 thing that's destroying our families, destroying our culture, destroying our people. Fight against them. Anybody that's fighting is a brother of mine and sister of mine. I hope you all heard that. And I'm extending my love uh, for Gary to the American people. We want Gary to win. Um, even though, and Gary, I'm going to say this, even though we are not guaranteed to win, I, the fact of the matter is you was a man. You, you stood. You grabbed your balls. And more importantly, um, this case, the case that you filed, was never, ever dismissed for lack no. of right, for anything. 
and you responded. Um, uh, I did give you, uh, you know, if I asked her, I, Gary, respond this way. I mean, you you did what you needed to do, and your case is not dismissed. Is that correct? No, it's not dismissed. So, hey, well, let, something just came to mind, man. Let me let me say this. Yeah. Um, man, Harry Parks is not the only one out there fighting us, guys. I'm saying I've been on these groups and I've been in these uh, relationship groups where child support is being talked about on a great scale. And I, the way I bring forth, it brings forth knowledge that most people don't even know when it comes to Title IV D. And let me tell you something: in these groups with thousands of people, like Black Fathers, uh, the Baby Mama Drama Group, um, they're, they're, those are uh, groups with huge numbers of people in the group. And when I bring this knowledge, I am shut down. I've had lawyers come at me, uh, black, white, red, whatever, and they've attacked me. Uh, and they, when they find out, I, I, I let them know my case number. And these guys go to the effort of looking up my case. You got to understand, these are people on Facebook, on Facebook, who will go, who, who will go in random, random groups that doesn't even have anything to, you know, do with lawyers or anything. Just a, a relationship group, you know. It could be like black love or, or relationship advice or something like that. And these people exist in these groups who are paying attention to what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. And these people, man, they I had a lawyer come at me and he cussed me out and looked my case up and he told me that I see it's been in litigation for quite a while. You're pretty close to a trial. Yeah, I I keep my eye on it. Why would somebody randomly out there just be keeping an eye on this. Come on, guys. This this is a let me tell you some Kim Paxton of Texas said majority of the funding that the revenue they make is is through child support. Sixty two percent of the revenue that they get is from the federal government. <clears throat> guys, if you don't think this is a huge fraud on the American public, you're you're wrong. And you got people like Terry Parks who are working in cahoots with him, working hand in hand with him to keep the corruption going. Come on, guys. And I believe all this corona stuff, you would never give me to believe that Title IV D is not a part of the things that they want to cover up. So, because if, if I, I believe that the greater public, the world found out that they were raping and, and pillaging our Social Security tax dollar in the name of Title IV D, it will be a war broke out overnight. Right. And I quote, cool. What is it that George uh, Bush said? If the American people found out what we were doing, they'd hang us. Yes, they would hang you. They would hunt them down in the street. Yes, you are, you are correct. And uh, brother, I really, really appreciate you sharing your time and your intellect and your 4D knowledge. And everybody out there, I'm not trying. I'm, I, look, this is not an attempt. We already know who the agents are. Okay, um, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're, I, I think that we're in perfect agreement that, listen, those agents, if you want to join us, then join us. If you can't join us and keep putting down what everybody else is doing, then you're definitely, you, 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 you swear to you oath to uphold the policies of the 4D crime family. Would you agree? <laughs> yes. All right. So, All the way, man. This is that, that what's going on. Gary, I really appreciate you sharing your time with us on this Sunday. Um, give me a few minutes. Um, this is going to take a, you know, we've been on here for a minute. Um, this is going to take a minute. And you know what? Um, there is no answer to this video. So you can post whatever you want. It does not matter. Gary is involved in litigation for deprivation of rights under color of law. His uh, his case, and Gary, you can confirm this, has not been turned down. The federal magistrate said, yes, I agree with you. You can come to court and you can claim your case. Would you agree or disagree, Gary? I agree. And just for the record, can reflect, Gary, will you win with the knowledge that you have? It's a yes or no question. Yes. Yes, we get there. Yes, I have no doubt that we should win. And uh, let me just say, guys, we proved in their in Tennessee's own statutes that everybody that participated in Title IV D is in fact a contractor. It says really? it right there in their own statutes, so they can be sued. <laughs> and there it is. And, and Gary, do me a favor. I'm, I'm going to do this because I'm a gentleman. 
Let's give a shout out to Fraud is Magnified, and let's give a shout out to Wasil Frog Bay. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know how to do that with, with people who That's I strongly disagree with. Me. What do I say? Oh, you agree with what I said? Do you agree with what I said? Yeah, I agree, man. There it is. And look, that's respect, okay? Gentlemen, we're on the side of the people, all right? We're on Gary's side. We don't want Gary to lose. We want Gary to win. And we need your energy, your commercial and prophetic energy to help us. Why would anybody, hey, Gary, you hear me? Why would anybody yes. be rooting for Gary to lose and why would anybody tell Gary that he's going to lose if they are not a fucking federal agent? Gary, I appreciate it. Check this out. Check this out, man. And yeah. Check this out. Check this out. We're going to cut. You, you listen to his videos when he's attacking and saying, I'm going to lose. Never once does he say, look, this is what you should change and you should win. This is what you should do and you'll win. This is what I disagree with, Amon Osiris. If you put this in, this will work, Gary. He's not right. trying to help us right. at all. Right. And a person who's gentle, who's gentle against the fraud. He's right, and he's right, and you're wrong. And that's not yeah. And then, Parks, let me let you know something, bro. I'm not mad at you because you started this over something that had nothing to do with you. I wasn't even talking about you. And guess what? It's all good, bro. I'm not mad at you because there's nothing you can do to hurt me. I got grandkids your age. I was a multi-millionaire <laughs> before you turned 21. Trust me, and I'm still a millionaire. All right? But the fact of the matter is, check this out. I'd rather us be on the same side than you be on their side. But it's obvious that, hey, hey Gary, whose who, who side are we on? <laughs> we're, on the, we're on the side of right. <laughs> OK, but who was right. the impression that they're on the side of wrong? He is. Terry Park. Yeah, I don't get it. Do you get it? I don't get it, man. It makes no sense. It makes no sense for him to if he's if he's an uh, um, uh, a, a, a proponent, like if he's against child support, why are you supporting and the, the 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 defeat of somebody else that's fighting it? Why are you supporting? Come on, man. Really? As opposed, as opposed to finding the loopholes that shut them down. All right. I'm not against right. you, Mr. Parks. You're against me. And you're still going to lose because your arms are too short to box with the God of law. But more importantly, hey, Gary, would you would you suggest that Mr. Parks at least at minimum show his face? Yeah, at minimum. Until he shows his face, guys, quit listening to him. Until he shows his face, everything he says is irrelevant and unimportant and basically fraud, lies, you know, that, that's being a man. It's yeah. Just, the, the, the basics of being a man is just standing up, standing by your word, showing your face, standing your ground, standing on your square. But yet, wait, wait, wait. not. Isn't is that, is, is that what Mr. Talk, Mr. Park teach? Stand on your square? Right. Stand on, yeah, stand on your square. Stand on your square and show your face? Yeah, he won't do that. Oh, you know, and then the thing is, well, well, why, he'll say, well, I'm not going to show my face. For fear of the government. Oh, so now you now you're fearful. Whoa. So you're not being a man. Now let me tell you something. If I'm right about something, I'll stand in the face of gun uh, gun barrels, and I'll stand right there with my chest stuck out, knowing that I'm right, and show my face. Hey. Just like Martin Luther King did. Just like Frederick hey. Douglass did. Just like hey, Gary. JFK did. Yes. Have you seen my face? Yes, yeah, seen your face plenty of times. Look right. Yes, we FaceTime, we 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 did webinars, we we did plenty of things. So yeah. So so I've if I seen face at you and you and, and you paid me money, you would know who I am and you can step to me about any conversation about the service that I provided for you. True or false? Co correct the mundo, dude. <laughs> I have no no doubt about who you are and another you showed your face, we've talked face, you know over FaceTime, we've talked over webinars, everything, man. We've been we've developed a, a good relationship over this over this thing. So I mean, but for somebody that won't show their face, that's just the basis of the foundation of being a man. Showing your face, standing by what you what you say, man. 
You know, you, you, I liken him to the terrorist groups. You know, they they show, they don't show their face. You know, I liken them to the Ku Klux Klan. The Ku Klux Klan doesn't show their face. And then they wear a mask, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Think about that, guys. Any entity that have shown that have not wanted to show their face, they're associated with evil. The Ku Klux Klan, Al Qaeda. Look at all this stuff. Anybody that won't show their face. But then they want to turn around and use the masters, the creator's name, to identify themselves. Wow. Come on, man. Wow. That's some shit. So, um, uh, uh, this, before we end this, oh, damn, man, we've been here for a minute. Uh, before we end this, would you advise that Mr. Parks would show his face so at least that people can recognize what he is saying is legitimate as long as he has information to back it up i just i wouldn't even ask him to show a face you know he if he knows the definition of being a man which i i really don't think he does but i just ask him to be a man just be a man dude and inside of being a man it requires you to show your face so i'll tell you that be a man that'll work uh, uh, uh gary scott i really appreciate you taking this time to share with the brethren and uh all right we already know what our mission is and uh we have our look we're going to spend a whole weekend together and you about to get beat over the head because we're going to make sure that you explain to the judge that you're right and they're wrong are we good yeah that's good that's good i'm good and you're and the case that you file has not been dismissed and those who are questioning it, uh, who want you to lose, just to, to, to discredit anybody, do you think that's worth anything? It's worth something to them, you know? <laughs> you know, because it, yeah, it's worth something to them. It ain't worth shit to me. But. Yeah, yeah. And let me ask you a question before we uh, depart, uh, you know, we'll be talking, but uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, those who are with you are not against you. Would you agree? Okay. And can can you say any names of those who are against you here in this matter because they keep posting your shit? Uh, Terry Parks. That's about it. Yeah. And why do you think I, I don't know Mr. Terry Parks doesn't want you to win? Uh, either he's a lawyer who makes money off the system. And he, he his living is contingent upon the system thriving, or you know, just like these lawyers that attack me, these random lawyers on Facebook that are embedded in these these groups, um, they attack they attack me because their their livelihood is contingent upon the system staying in place, and nothing will dismantle the system like a federal lawsuit will, whether it be a settlement or a, a adjudicated case, because either way it's a victory. And uh, after all the rhetoric, and, and just so we're aware, um, uh, so the record will show, did you file a privacy act against Mr. Parks for posting your personal information in federal court, which has not even come to pass yet? Yes, yes. I, I, I reported his videos to the YouTube officials, and, uh, and it violates my privacy. And, um, yeah, so I, I did all, all three of his, or two of his videos. I've only seen two of them. But I seen, uh, I, I mean, not seen, but I reported it um, to, to get them taken down. But hey, it doesn't really matter if he d does or doesn't, man. I mean, he, he, <laughs> anybody can look at that who has a logical mind can can say this guy something not up with this guy, you know? Because if you look at my case, man, forty two U S six 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 U S C six six six, that's 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 the that's the strata that's going to break the camel's back, man. So. You know, he couldn't even deny it. That's why he come with that. You have a legal duty. That that man, I laughed so hard when he, he said told that. you you have a legal duty to pay child support. A legal duty. As yeah, a legal duty with them and not you. Yeah, and have a legal duty to hand your money to somebody else without any kind of uh, uh, tracking or anything. So he said, you got to take care of your kids. So me handing my money to this other parent, that's supposed to guarantee my kids are going to be taken care of. This is the logic that this guy has, you know. Wow. This is the logic that he has. Just because you give money to somebody doesn't mean your kids are going to be taken care of. 
That's true. But this is a, this is a system that he's in favor for. You know, it'd be different if Calport had a, a tracking system, a track where the money's actually being spent. You know, not that we're trying to take it there, because we, we're not trying to talk about that. Because I mean, this is about our constitutional rights being violated. But I'm just I want to state it for the for the record that this is the type of stuff that he's advocating. With no account of, he's wanting you to hand your money over without any accountability. And that's where, I mean, man, you could prove these people wrong on so many levels, you know? I mean, but for him to just be attacking me, attacking you, attacking everybody else that's fighting and saying we're going to lose, he's basically trying to per persuade a whole community of people into not fighting their cases correctly. How do you I mean, feel about that? Oh man, he. I mean, let me wipe my ass and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hey, don't squeeze the shirt on it, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, now, hey, listen, man, Scott, I really appreciate your time. And um, again, gentlemen and ladies, I'm going to send a positive shout out. Uh, to to Terry Parks, Mr. Parks, when you're ready to join us, um, by all means, we will welcome you with open arms. I have indulged you. We have indulged you um, uh, for advertisement purposes, and you are a lot of fun. Okay, but you know, uh, Gary Scott is a neutral civilian uh, who is fighting against the system. And the only thing that you have done is gone up against him. Would you agree or disagree, Gary? Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Yeah. Uh, and and that tells us that, you know, it, it, it gives the impression that you're a fed. And I'm not mad at you, Terry. I, uh, uh, Gary, are you mad at Terry? No, I ain't mad at him. Right, I'm not at all. At you, Terry. We just wish that you would stop being a federal agent and come on to the right side. And whether you do or don't, guess what? One day, they're going to be throwing bread on your box just like they're going to be throwing bread on the rest of our boxes. Would you agree, Gary? All right. That's great, man. You're right. All right. So, you know, it's it's all good, bro. We're not mad at you. I appreciate you because you are fucking great for business. You have no idea how wonderful you are. But when you wish to come out of the dark side, and join us in the light side of the force and fighting the enemy as opposed to being part of the enemy's regime. Guy, would you have respect for Mr. Parks when he did that? No, not at all. I, I, yeah, I have respect for him if he turned, turned uh, uh, you know, turned against the 4D crime family and, and joined us, yes. Yes. And and much respect for him. Right now, do you have any respect for Mr. Parks? Not, not for what he's what he's doing. No, I okay. don't. Like, Terry, he's not being a man. Right, and and Terry, you you're not even, you're not even man enough to show your face. Um, you can um, put out against Gary Parks wherever you want. Excuse me, Gary Scott, whatever whatever you want. Um, we are not concerned with that. What we are concerned with is we are gods of the universe, and we are black gods of the universe. Gary, are, are, are we black gods? You've seen me. I've seen you. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree, man. I mean, I like him too. Space. No, I hadn't seen it. Hey, hey, never hey, seen it. Parks, how come you show close. your face? Um, you know, show your face. Be a man. Uh, everybody knows what I look like. I was making videos live before I went, you know, unlive. And uh, y'all know what I look like. I mean, other than that, me being a hermit and not coming out of the office, I know Gary, Gary I know you see me. I'm looking like caveman. Hey man, Bruce, but I'm not yeah. that. All right, because you want to know why? Because I don't leave my office. I very rarely go outside. I study my ass off until I can't take it no more. That's why I look like a caveman. All right, and I don't have a problem with that. But more importantly, Gary, you are going to, you are, you have filed in federal court. Is that correct? That's correct. And the federal court has not dismissed your case. Is that correct? That's correct. They have not dismissed the case. Hearing, uh, hearing, which is going to contain your settlement conference, is that correct? Yes, on June the 8th, there's a, a final 
a conference. There's a, like a final seven a conference or okay. something like that. And, yep. And Mr. Parks was wrong, right? And, and Mr. Parks is hoping and praying that your case does not get dismissed or does does get dismissed. Is that correct? Who is he? Yeah, you are yeah, he, he, he's us. Us. Yeah, he's encouraging the dismissal. You know, he's just, look, he, he's on there pointing out in the, in the videos and in my paperwork, this is this is why it's going to get dismissed. He's only, but he never offers any solutions as to, hey, can, hey Gary, uh, let's amend your, your response and it won't get dismissed. Amend your response. You know, he never offers any solution. That tells me right there that he's advocating for it, man. Because anybody that, if he's suffering with this and his people are suffering with it, and you got a guy that's three months away from a trial, a federal trial about this, you would think everybody would pull together and trying to help me. You know? Because we're all Parks, fighting this together. This ought to be the answer, you know? Has Mr. Parks offered you any encouragement in the dismissal of your case in federal court? Not at all. Not at all. Why do you think that is? Because he has a financial interest in it. Now. <laughs> yeah, he has a financial interest. Yep. And, and, all day long. And, and you've, watched, you've watched Mr. Parks' videos? <laughs> nah, not, not, not a lot of them. Just a couple of them. Uh, okay. Just the one. I watched, i will say three. Because I watched the two that he made about me, and I watched one that he made. That I was looking at YouTube just randomly. And once I've once I seen it, I've I, 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 you know, I actually call him a liar in his videos. I call him a liar, and um, he's a fraud. And I, we had a cuss, cuss fight, and you know, and it, that that was the end of it. And I never, I blocked him, and I didn't want to hear anything he had to say again. Did he offer you know he words of encouragement? No, he didn't offer any words of encouragement. Didn't try to befriend me. Didn't try to persuade me to come to his side, and nothing. He just all he talked about: you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose, you know. And and, I said, and well, okay, I'm gonna lose. What, what 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 should I do? You know, and he and, never and, comes back with anything. And how does that make you feel when somebody tells you you're gonna? Somebody consistently tells you that you're gonna lose. What do you feel that that person's regime is? Feel like he has a vested interest in me losing. You know? Why do you think he has that? Vested is? Interest. He why why do I think? Because he's working for the government. Wow, he's, he's, he's getting paid some sort of way. He's he's getting paid something. Why would anybody put that much energy into something like? He doesn't even know me. He doesn't even know me. We had we have no transactions together. He doesn't even know who I am as a person. But yet he goes to far and near to these links to discredit my efforts, to discredit everything. Why would you do? Why would you put that much energy into making three long videos? Dude, that's a lot of energy. You mean to tell me you don't have kids to raise, you don't have a family to take care of? You know, you mean to tell me you're sitting up there and you're making a living at discrediting somebody fighting for justice, fighting for their rights. Really? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> and and Mr. Park anybody with a brain can see what he's doing. Wow. And Mr. Park's charge, he charges twelve hundred dollars for minimum services. Would you agree or disagree? I agree, and that and that that's only to go to state court. They ain't count federal. Okay, and that's just to go. That's 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 just to go to your local court, in your your county. He charged you twelve hundred dollars. You know. Wow, that's a lot of money. It doesn't even realize that that in a in state court in child support cases, they are not uh, required to give you a trial by jury. It's right there in in uh, in in a uh, uh, Title Forty Two of the U.S. Code. It's right there. They don't have to give you a trial by jury in those proceedings. So why would you file in court where your rights are already being decimated? And how do you feel about that? Oh, man, it's, <laughs> and I mean, I, I, I can't even, I can't even formulate something. Man. I mean, I've read it. I've read it right there. It's right there in the title that you do not get a trial by jury. I do not want to go in any court where my rights have already been taken advantage of. My rights are already being stripped away from me. I'm going to file into a court where all of my rights are available to me. All right? So that, I mean, I, I'm not getting where these people are paying attention to him or listening to him, man. He's crazy. And, and what it is, you just got a bunch of people that don't want to study for themselves. If you study for yourself, there would be no way you could listen to y'all's magnified or fraud is magnified. There would be, be no way you could keep listening to him because everything he says 
is in total opposition to what the law states, to what the statute states in Title 42. He, he, he's in total opposition. So, I mean, I, I don't get it, man. It's an open and shut case to me. Why would anybody listen to that guy? You know, and when he said about the legal duty, that's all I needed to hear. That was it. That was the funniest thing he could ever say. If people don't pick up on that in itself, for him to utter those words that you have a legal duty, man, that, I mean, that that's just like telling me, look, slave, you have a legal duty to do what your slave master tells you. Mm. Get over there and reattach yourself to that chain and get that cotton bag and keep on stroking. That's what he. That's what that says to me when you say you have a legal duty. Get out there in that field and, and keep on picking that cotton because you got a legal duty to keep picking that cotton. You're a slave. Now get up. Get, that's what he's saying. And how, how that make he says good? it with his face covered. He says it with his face covered, so he's a Klansman. He's, just, he's no more than a Klansman. He said he got that white mask on with the two big holes in it, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no doubt about it in my mind, man. I, 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 I put these two together parallel. This is exactly what they're doing is enslaving people. Wow. And they, and they try to and see when when a civil war was fought, uh, brother, it the state the the Confederate says, well, the the civil war was fought over states' rights. Well, states' rights to do what? The states' rights to own and, and keep slaves. That's what it's for. And this is the same stuff. When he told me I had a legal duty, that's the same shit he was telling me. So so let me get this straight. He was telling you that you're obligated to pay them no matter what. Right. Exactly. Okay. And that's exactly. fair enough. He said I had it because I was married. I have a legal duty. That's just like saying that I was born on a slave slave plantation. So yeah, you you got you yeah, you just gotta deal with it. You know? Did he offer, did he you offer, you, with it. Did he offer you any help at all? Even look, this not at all, man. He taught you did he did he offer to enhance your four D skills so you could win? Nope. Or he just went nope. totally about you're gonna lose. Yeah, went totally about he has no olive branch within him. He doesn't send an olive branch to try to create unions, to try to create allies or nothing. He goes straight for you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose. And he called me out my name, he called me a loser. Yeah, he called it, me out my name. Yeah. Did I what? Gary, I really appreciate your time. And I appreciate, um, uh, listen, we are, um, we uh, listen, everybody in America, um, Gary will, hey, Gary, you agree with me, you will prevail in this case, correct? Yes, I will prevail. I and, will prevail. And your case. I make, it, I make it to that trial date. Your case hasn't been dismissed. The federal court has decided to hear your case. Is that correct? That's correct. And when you get out of that, I get that my my um my case is has merit. There my case go. has merit. There we go. And despite what the haters think, all right, um, we're rooting for you, Gary. And why do you think others are not rooting for you? Oh, uh, because they, they just man, they, they have a they have an interest in it. They just they're mad. I don't know what it is. I, I can't even put my finger on it. And uh, other than they they're partnering with the government. Ain't that sick? Now let me ask you a question before we go. What do you think about all these infomercials? These false ass infor uh, the, these in uh, testimonies that uh, 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 a certain person is expressing? Um, because the reason I'm asking because. If if a person is, and I use the word person very loosely, if a person is expressing in all these infomercials about all these cases dismissed, what about all the cases that weren't dismissed? Exactly. Exactly. Where where is this evidence? You know this. <laughs> man, I just don't. I don't understand that guy. I just don't, man. You no. Know. He 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 speaks on the cases that were dismissed, but never talks about the cases that weren't dismissed and why they were dismissed. A lot of these cases were dismissed because of failure to respond to every motion and everything that they filed. You got you cannot. And I learned that from another guy who said everything they file, you have to respond to it. Because if you don't respond, you're agreeing and things called acquiescence. Right. Uh, you're, you're you're agreeing uh, uh, inadvertently because you don't respond. 
And so I responded, you know, even if I didn't have time to respond, I have a uh, extension of time motion already typed up to go file the court to give myself time, you know, because I'm, I'm a full-time dad. You know, my kids, my children live with me every other whole week, like two weeks a month. And I'm coaching ball and doing things. And if I got to stop to give hours of attention to drafting documents, when these fuckers are paid to do it, they're not missing their children. They're, they're, not, they're not missing time with their children to, uh, to, 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 to fight this case. They're making a living at it. So I explained that to the judge that the cost of them is where I'm, is they're cutting into my time with my children. But yet, this whole thing is about children, right? right. This whole thing was about encouraging fathers to be with their children, right? Yet, mm -hmm. I got to take time, uh, almost two years of my time, fighting this case to keep my property that's going to benefit my children. But yet, you guys want to take it so you can benefit. Because you don't care about my children. Because if you did, you will make sure the money that's being paid was going directly to the children. But you don't want to talk about that. Really? So let's talk about my new foster right? Damn, Gary, you went hard. So, uh, Gary, um, there are two messages that uh, I would ask you to give. I would ask you to give one message to 4D Destroyer, and I would ask you to give a message to <laughs> Fraud is Magnified. Uh, please enlighten us. Well, you know, first of the 4D Destroyer, man, I want to thank you for just, just giving me starting, just giving me out the gate. They're educating me on my rights, educating on what due process is, is giving you a right to know, um, educating us on how they swindled us into this, and, and get, building up the confidence in us to fight these things ourselves without crooked lawyers. All right? mm -hmm. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that and the knowledge that I've gained in just teaching others, man. I've, I've, the results in me teaching others has did. So I, my, my shout out to and support it to the 48 Destroyers, uh, Deception Stoppers, and everybody, they, they've all helped me. So, but the, but the fraud is magnified, man. I, I, I really don't know what to say. Mama just do it like my grandmother told me. If you don't have anything good to say, just don't say anything at all. So. And uh, uh, Gary, if you don't mind, uh, going off what grandma said, um, let's keep it on a positive note. Let's give fraud is magnified a positive message, shall we? If you don't mind, to come up, uh, give hey, fraud is magnified a positive message. Hey man, I think this this is me trying. I think somewhere inside of you, dude, uh, talking to you, Terry. I think somewhere inside of you, man, there's there's a there's a voice saying, you know what, you know, you should join us. You should join the fight against this. You should encourage what what's going on. You should be uh giving out solutions to help me i think there's a voice inside of you that does it but whatever you are angry about man whatever you're pissed about man let that shit go all right let's let's start fighting in the right direction and, and, and encouraging us all in the fight man this is not a war against father this is just war against manhood you know and so at the end of the day man we don't have our freedom and liberty we don't have anything and so for you to be almost advocating for my defeat man when not almost you are you're advocating my defeat is very telling of who you really are as a person man so hey feel free to get in touch with us get in touch with me and we can squash it man because i don't want to be your enemy but apparently i'm your enemy because i'm fighting against something that you're supporting and you know i never understand that to save my life but you know i understand it in the context of you doing it for some type of gain on the other side that's in the opposition to what everybody else is fighting. But hey, man, I'm I'm open to to extend the olive branch and let's create peace. And let's fight together. And and that's what I'm talking about. And Mr. Parks, despite the discussions that we have had, I also invite you to share the olive branch and uh, extend the peace. And everybody will know this across America. What you do from here. Mr. Parks will show your intentions, um, will show who you're working for and everything else. Gary, I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge and your wisdom and your personal information with us. And um, we will be working together because uh, soon when you get this, uh, when this case is dismissed, 
Um, I'm not one to do too many uh, testimonies, um, but because there are federal agents out there telling us that we can't win, I will do a testimony when, when, when indeed you do win, and that is why we are here. I thank you for sharing your, your Sunday with us, and today is March 22nd, 2020. My birthday. Today's my birthday. Yep. Tomorrow's my birthday. Ain't that some shit? Aries. No wonder yep. we're talking long. Aries, yep. Yeah, <laughs> war. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Yep. All right, small world. And uh, happy birthday to you, brother. You too, right. brother. And tomorrow, I'll be, I'll be throwing back a few for, for, uh, for, for both of us. And um, uh, uh, listen, brother, I'm Gary, I really appreciate the time. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, video, this information was not made to disrespect anybody. It was a call to action for us all to come together. And I will admit, I have not been civil. Um, I have been uh, uh, rather belligerent in some of the things that I've said against the uh, what I presume to be the enemy. But um, as Gary has said, um, maybe you got some anger issues or whatever, and it's all great. All right, I'm not mad at you because anytime you want to join forces, we'll be a force to be reckoned with, with my protection and with my power and with my skills. I we we can kill it, and with your skills, we can kill it. And guy, would you agree? I agree. Oh, yeah. So this is a call to action. If you want to keep posting videos about who's not doing what and who's allegedly losing, then do yourself a favor and stop posting videos because it's showing people that you're not with us. Yeah, would you agree or disagree with that? Yes, I agree, man. Right? Agree. If you're with us, you're with us. If you're against us, then you're against us. If you're against us, you're a 40 agent. You're fed. All right. If you're with us, then you know you're fed. Trying to be with us and learn as much as they can, but we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We already we we know what the feds are saying. You ain't got to go back and tell them what we're saying. We we're, we're just recuperating what they're saying. Do you agree, Granny? Right. I agree. I right. agree. So with that said, all right. Let us squash the bullshit. All right. Let us look at what is going on here in the common law. Let us look at what is going on in the face of reality. All right, despite this bullshit ass uh, cold coronavirus that they've been uh, 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 inflicting upon people to, to to shut down the economy and and, and subject you to uh, uh, federal uh, uh, credits. All right, it's all gravy. But what is important to know, folks, and Gary can probably say it. Your freedom is at risk. Do you want your freedom or do you want to be enslaved? Gary, what would you tell him? Yes. My, my darling was calling me, telling me happy birthday, man. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> oh, all good. Yeah, happy birthday, man. Yo, that's crazy. Your birthday is the day before the God of law. Yo, you are a God among insects. And I, yeah. <laughs> and I appreciate you taking the time out, man. Um, you know, um, because what, what, what infuriated me is the fact that, um, and as opposed to uh, encouraging the lawsuit and 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 encouraging the win, um, some people are out there discouraging the win, and that gives us second thoughts. Would you agree or disagree, Gary? Yeah, it does. Yep. I right. agree. I mean, we want you to win. I mean, who who dislikes a video of a 4D? Uh, uh, termination. I get them all the time. Every time I, uh, yeah, I don't know if you noticed it, but every time I post a video about a 4D case getting terminated, there's like three or four um, uh, 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 dislikes, and I'll never comprehend that. Why wouldn't you like that? I don't do dislikes. Okay? And, I don't know. Yeah, and it's all gravy. So, um, you know, Gary, you are good to go. Me and you will be working very closely. Um, like I told you, um, I'm a beat. I'm look, I'm a be, I'm a bash your fucking brains in, bro. When you go in court, you're gonna be a mean, lean fighting machine. All right. And Thank you, man. Yeah, you're to you. your case. And more importantly, and you're welcome. But more importantly is, if the if the federal courts felt as though that you didn't have a cause of action, they would never allow you to go to trial. And more important, why would somebody question? 
your skills, your 4D skills, right? Opposed to right. losing, as opposed to winning. I mean, look, Bradley Scott's going to court on the eighth and uh, the other day. Yeah, we're going to wish the best for him. They're not wishing the best for you. They want you to lose. Why? Why? <laughs> man. Why? It's, it's evident, man. They, 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 have, they have something to gain from it. No, nah, they got nothing to gain from your loss, except that. You know, here, uh, check this out. I'm going to say it to everybody. Yeah, are you listening? Here's the thing. Yeah. And I read a, I read a text the other day. It's, yeah, I'm embarrassing you in that your technique does not work. That that's that's the whole point of this. And and guess what? That came from Terry Parks. Well, bro. Right. Well, wait a minute. If you are who you say you are, then if somewhere some somewhere along the line I've made a mistake, why wouldn't you help me correct that mistake if I made one? Because I did not. All right. And then you know uh, join forces so we could be a force. Look, me, you, and Gary could be a force to reckon with. And shut down the 4D crime family as opposed to emailing you and saying you're going to lose. Right. That is an issue. And Mr. Park, you need to check yourself. You really need to check yourself. Because we're at, look, hey, Gary, would you agree that me and you are having a gentleman's discussion here? Yes, I agree. All right. Yep. So before we leave, um, I would simply ask you to give a positive, to the best of your ability, a positive invitation to Mr. Look, I'm not going to say fraud is magnified. Give a positive invitation to Mr. Terry Parks to join us so he can help us figure out, worst case scenario, if we're wrong, how to disseminate this case against you so we can put it forth for others to use and win. God damn. Right, right. Yeah. Hey Terry, hey, I'm open, man. If you look, you read through the whole case. You went through every document. You made three videos about it. Um, all I ask, man, hey, if we're doing something wrong, if we're, we're, um, uh, there's a there's something a discrepancy within the paperwork or, or one of the answers. Hey, man, tell us so we can get amend, get it amended where we can fight it effectively and get it ended, man. That, that's my that's my uh, question to him. That's my plea to him. You know, if you know something better than we know. Yeah, share it, share it, man. Yeah, because I mean, obviously, Mr. Parks, you want us to win, right? Would you agree, uh, Gary? Right. I mean, obviously, you want right, us to I, win. I, so, you know, instead of opposing and and posting negative videos, why don't you, um, if you feel as though that I'm wrong and then Gary is wrong, why don't you bring forth the information that and with facts that says hey, listen, here, you're wrong, and here's the proof that you're wrong, and maybe you should go about it this way. And so we can right. place Gary's video to be a beacon of hope for those who are going through. Gary, would you agree or disagree? Oh, I agree, yes. There it is. Gary, I really appreciate your time. Yo, we've been on here for a minute, bro. Uh, it's going to take me a minute to download, but I'm going to download it and I'm going to post it. And, um, you know, I'm going to post it on my community channel. Uh, ladies and gentlemen who have listened to us, Gary, uh, give a give a uh, give a standing ovation to Gary of the family. Scott, who is about to defeat the 4D crime family in a federal lawsuit, which has not been dismissed. All right. And um, Gary, uh, uh, any words of encouragement for our brethren out there? And more importantly, any words of encouragement for Mr. Terry Parks? Um, guys, just just fight for what's right. Recognize what's right. Uh, don't don't. We want to win, but focus on what's right and what rights. What what is right should win. And so, guys, we got to recognize we're fighting an evil entity, and you know every time. You know, you got to understand they killed Yeshua. And so Yeshua was a good person and they killed him. And so that means that pe people who people who stand up for what's right are not always going to get justice, but we should. So that's my basis. So guys, and I've always had this attitude that even if I didn't win, I don't fault Amon Osiris, I don't fault anybody because I fought the people that were fighting. Because I've determined in my own heart that I'm right and they're wrong. Mm. 
and they have power over me. They have guns, they have police, they have lawyers, they have judges, they have people that are in power. All right. So there's not some, this is not some robot or some machine where we're typing in the wrong code. Okay. These are people who are hell bent on whatever you turn in, we're going to go against it. You got to understand it. We're not fighting a robot. We're not fighting an ATM machine where you're punching in the wrong security pin. All right. And that's what everybody's searching for. They act like there's some security pin out there that we have to type in. Oh, you're typing in the wrong security pin. That's not going to work. My security pin will work. Well, if you got a security pin that'll work, then let us know what the security pin is. And, and, and you know, other than that, shut up and help us. You know, we're not fighting. A, a, a big machine or something like you know i don't know if you've seen the movie uh uh eagle eye you know where, where you know you, you got this robot that that you know that, that's not represented by anybody that's, that's re wreaking havoc throughout the whole world we're fighting against human beings who put their pants on who take shits and eat food just like we do these people are commanding us and having control over us through the courts through the federal courts and everything. Now they're trying to take away our rights through this coronavirus stuff. They're trying to suspend our constitutional rights. Every time there's a 9-11, that's what they want to do. And that's what this coronavirus is. This is 9-11 for the whole world, just not New York. <laughs> yeah. Brother, you are you are you are on point. And I implore everybody, um, and this is not a video discredit anybody um although the, the evidence is it, it is what it is we want you to win and um if you cannot assist us in winning then like gary said keep your mouth shut uh if you want to insult us and 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 come back and say you're not going to win that means you're not on our side would you agree gary yeah okay i agree and, and, and as Gary said, it if, if we've done something wrong, um, if we've missed something, whatever, instead of uh, sitting here trying to insult everybody, all right, why don't you be a problem to uh, a solution to the problem, all right, so we can get it done? Because guess what? I got no, like, hey, look, y'all magnify, I got no beef with you. You're just great for business, all right, real talk. I, I I know you lost your father and all that. And guess what? I talked to your father last night <laughs> and he told me he was not approving what you were doing. All right. But more importantly, I, if, if you got something to say, then let's keep it positive and I will do the same and let's work. Let's all work together. Would you agree with that guy? Let's all work together. I agree. All right. I agree. So you can dispatch the problem later for coronavirus. The, the, the Title IV D agency is the coronavirus. We are the cure. That's it. All right? We offer yep. you the cure. And if you've got something that's going to offer uh, uh, um, uh, a formula to the cure, then offer it. Don't tell people you're going to lose. Don't tell people uh, you're wrong. And this and this and that. Enhance the 4D skills of the people. Gary, would you agree with that? I agree. If he has the cure to the coronavirus, what is he up there telling people you're going to die, you're going to die, and not give them the antidote that's going to save them? Okay. So what's the antidote? We got other people over here. We got other yeah. people over here trying to save people. Yeah. So he's just standing on the sideline saying you're going to die. You're going to yeah. die. So Mr. Parks, if you're trying to save people, why don't you add? Okay, and, and, and Gary, tell me if you disagree. Mr. Parks, if, if you feel as though that we're wrong, why don't you add something that we can use? If we're, look, if we're wrong, then give us the evidence that proves that we're wrong and give us the evidence that proves how to go about getting it right, okay? As right. opposed to spending your time trying to discredit all these people. I'm not the only one you're trying to discredit. All right, and that's where we're at. Cause I got no beef with you, bro. I love you. You're one of my kids. You're one of my creations. And trust me when I tell you that. All right. But more importantly, Gary, I really appreciate your time on this Sunday. Uh, and yo, this is crazy. Happy birthday to you. And tomorrow, Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Tomorrow, I expect a text 
for for a happy birthday from you to me because I'm gonna be tore up. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and and yes. Mr. Parks, we invite you, all right, uh, to join us in peace and prosperity. Um, if you want to continue on the path that you are, then so be it, Garrett. Are we mad at him? No, I'm not mad at him. We ain't mad at you, but guess what? It, it, we know who you are. And more importantly, um, incidentally, if anybody has any issues out there um, that need to be addressed, if we can be of service to you, I'm at Ford uh, IVD underscore destroyer at yahoo.com. Um, you know, I got ramifications on how you contact me, but Gary, uh, you're going to be successful. We've already set up an appointment. I'm going to bash your head. Look, I'm going to hit you so hard over the head with the Title IV D technique. Your shit's going to be oozing out your ears. You're like, damn, what's this on my pillow? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, and more yeah, importantly, sure. we're not trying to prove anybody wrong. All right. Uh, Mr. Parks, we're not trying to prove you wrong. But what we are trying to prove is if that we all work together, right, just like this bullshit yeah. coronavirus, we can all hold hands and sing kumbaya, <laughs> all right, and, 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 and distinguish, look, if we all share the knowledge and the food and all this stuff, if I'm wrong, uh, which I'm not, <laughs> all right, then by all means, share with me, prove, look, prove it to me. If, 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 uh, if Gary is wrong, then prove to Gary that he's wrong and show him about going the right way. Don't tell him how much he's going to lose. Encourage him. Gary, would you agree? Right, I agree. All right. Encur look, encourage us. So I'm not calling out peace because guess what? This is war. And, um, uh, you know, there is no peace in war. But I'm not war. I'm not at war with anybody except the 48th and Zach Kermes who says what? Gary, you, as a God, I speak in uh, those things to existence, and you will do the same. And God said it was so. Uh, and repeat after me. This case will be dismissed. This case will be dismissed. I will get a full refund. I will get a full refund. They are right. Excuse me. They, uh, they are wrong, and I am right. They are wrong, and I am right. And Mr. Parks, we call on you to encourage that. If you are who you say that you are, Gary, would you agree or disagree? I agree. So let us win this case. Gary, uh, we'll be speaking in uh, another uh, uh, half a month or two. We will go over the preliminaries and let us send out a blessing, <laughs> whatever that means, <laughs> to Mr. Terry Parks and his family uh, and, and those who love him. And uh, we hope that you will analyze this information and pay close attention uh, to the information. And Gary, check this out. Um, Mr. Parks's um, response will tell you who and what he is after we get into this video. Would you agree? I agree. And look, I'm yeah. good. Good. Yep. Mm -hmm. We have sent out positive blessings to Mr. Parks. I don't care if you don't take the blessings, Terry. I can really care less because there's nothing you can do to this flow. All right. But here it is. I'm ex again, I'm extending the olive, land of the olive branch of peace. And it doesn't matter if you don't because here it is. Me and someone that you're going up against is extending that olive branch of peace to you. Now, whether you accept it or not is up to you. And Gary, pay attention to uh, what Mr. Uh, Yah is magnified is posting uh, after this video, and then we can deduce. But we don't need him. All right, you got what you need, and I promise you, on uh, <laughs> on that weekend we spoke of, me and you, like I'm gonna bash your brains in. You better put a a, a, a a cup because your 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 brain matter is gonna be leaking out, and we are gonna get it the fuck in. Do you hear me? I hear you. Yep. You got it. Any uh, closing words for the people uh, out here on YouTube? Not at all. Y'all have a great day. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> hey, yo, man, happy birthday, man. Yo, hey Gary, I swear to God, if you don't call me tomorrow or text me tomorrow, wish me happy birthday. 
You're buying the first round. <laughs> understood. Understood. God of War. Yo, you're you an Aries. You're God of War. That's why you're fighting. Right. That's it, man. I don't go down. I don't, I don't go down, man. I don't and go down fighting. And uh, you're you're uh, just so uh, so everybody can uh, confirm this. You're ready to go to trial, uh, whether a bench trial or jury trial, and you're ready to put your thing down and prove that they are wrong and you are right. Is that correct? That is correct. Gary, I appreciate you, man. You Aries motherfucker, I love you. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, we will talk on the scheduled date. Uh, hey, listen. Hey, Gary, do me a favor. Send, 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 a okay. shout, send a shout out to Mr. Terry Parks, a positive one. Hey, Terry, join us, man. Go on and join us and quit, quit playing around and quit, quit being mad about whatever you're mad about, man. Just go on and join us and let's let's fight this thing together. Let's help each other, man. There it is. And yeah. you know what, Parks? I agree. And uh, I'm not at war with you. You're just a lot of fun, all right, because I've been doing this for 30 years. I got grandkids your age. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's uh, let's get this thing together and let's shut it down. All right, and that's my message to you, Mr. Parks. You can post post whatever you want to, whether it's negative or positive. I have already put it out, and there's going to be fifty thousand people who's going to be getting this message. What you do with it is up to you, Gary. You got any closing arguments? No, I don't. I'm done. Gary, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you, brother. I, I really appreciate your time. And uh, we know what our schedule is. Uh, we're going to get this done. And you're going to be victorious. And hopefully, hopefully, I, those who oppose you will now be for you. If they're not federal okay. agents. If they, if, they, if, look, right. they, if, they, if they don't endorse you, they're federal agents. Uh, agents. Agents. And I, I concur with that. All right, so let's do the damn thing, regardless of who, whatever. And I, I appreciate you sharing your time. Um, I have your permission to share uh, this video with everybody in YouTube. Yeah, you do. You do. There it is. Uh, Terry Parks, we love you. Gary, give him some love, uh, uh, Gary. I would love you, Terry. All right, you got it. You got it, gentlemen. All right, I have spoken. Gary has spoken. And it is what it is, and it's going to be what it's going to be. Either join us or be against us, and we'll go from there. Yes, yeah, I appreciate you. We will talk. Uh, I'll shoot you an email, and we'll talk some more in the future, and we'll go from there. Yo, man, I really appreciate you sending your town, your time on your birthday. And tomorrow, yo, I swear to God, if you don't call me wishing me happy birthday, we're fighting. I got you, man. I got you. <laughs> Hotel. Uh, hotel.